Welcome back, once again, to stream number four. Uh, I did not get the chance to stream on Thursday. I was actually called in for a random drug test, so that kind of interfered with my uh, weekday streaming intent. But uh, it's the weekend again. It's Saturday, and we're still we're on our fourth straight Pokemon stream. Jack is uh, Jack is feeling sick, so. I don't know if we'll be streaming anything together this weekend. That's alright. Hopefully he feels better. Uh, gives me the chance to do another... Hopefully pretty meaty string of this game. I'd like to... Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd like to get through a bit more of it. Uh, I, finally, I finally decided on a name for my trainer. I, I said she looked like Luz before. I'm gonna call her Liz. Liz the Ace from Paldia. I wish that you could have, like, a name for your character and also a name for your profile. Like you usually can in games. I, I feel like I still have to go by, you know, Zelrog because that's the trainer ID that's going to appear on all my on my, po all my Pokemon. Uh, so I believe this is where we left off when we last saved the stream. We were about to go to the poison place with the sweet four-frame uh, flags going on there. You'll notice I have my parties a little bit different. I ditched the electric thing and have got a... I decided on a shroomish for my catcher, or a brelum rather, but uh, I, need, I need to keep it shroomish until level 40 because then I'll get spore, and spore is good. Uh, I leveled up the Dolphin, leveled up Junior. This thing, apparently, had a, a, a terrible nature. It was timid, which, which lowers attack, so I, I fed it an Adamant Mint. I fixed it. I'm, I'm cursed with Pokemon with negative attack natures. I might ditch Big Red. It's a good Pokemon in terms of, like, usability. It's got Yawn, it's got some serious, like, special attack. It just looks so stupid. I don't like this thing at all. I don't know what I might get rid of him for. I was still thinking about, uh, about getting a Ralts. Well, I have a Ralts, but I might use it on my team, because I, I like, I like Ralts. Hello, Gleam. What, what? Let's see what, the, what my boxes look like. What what has changed between streams? Uh, I've filled out quite a bit. Again, I'm avoiding new Pokemon. I got I got a duck. Gleam was kind enough to trade me a spare duck, so I got that. I'm still missing Weed Cat. I evolved some of the uh, returning mons from previous games. Apparently, the uh, mouse hold is utterly broken under the right conditions. One of those conditions being its hidden ability, which it sounds like Gleam ha might have a spare one for me to- You can throw me a cat? Great. Awesome. Uh, what else did I catch? I'm trying to remember if I, I don't think I got any any new Pokemon. I did evolve the the walking ones. I got this stupid thing. It, it's a tumbleweed, but it has a smiley face. It's an emo. It's an emoji weed. What's this? What's what's it called? What's the name of the Pokemon? Bramblegast. I like the idea. It's just a really dumb-looking Pokemon of a t of tumbleweed. Uh, the dung beetle evolved into psychic master thing, which that's kind of cool. I like that. Bug psychic. We had one of those last gen. We had the uh, the Eggman bug. Also, this also this and the bear both got revival blessing. The uh, one free revive move. I don't know if it's if it's is is Bugmon good? Synchronize is, is eh. 
it's a special attacker. I'm thinking about it. I, I, I could be convinced to use a Psychic Bug. Oh, I found out that uh, Amy Rose is in fact an evolved form. I completely missed the first form, Tinka Tink. Then there's Tinka Tuff, and I think there's a third one. Tried the bug in doubles on a Trick Room team. Oh, is it is it really slow? I didn't look at its speed. Yeah, thirty. Super strong, but no defense or speed. I see. Cyclozar, I got a flying type. Oh, it's dragon normal. I thought it was pure dragon. I might just use, like gather up all the most broken Pokemon and put them on a team. That that might be fun to do, like a Danger Mario esque run. I might end up using my uh, Cyclozar. Low, low, lowered speed though. That's not great. Uh, the mouse hold. What else? The dolphin is apparently busted. But uh, I need to evolve it, and in order to evolve it, I apparently need to be playing in multiplayer. Elf King, I guess just had a spare shiny uh, super bond, one of these things, so I've got that now. I don't know. I'll see if it, I still haven't seen... There are still, somehow, some things that have not been spoiled for me. I know there is a pseudo-legendary in this game, and I have not seen it yet. So, uh, that will be new to me. I was actually not aware of Annihilate. I'd heard the name like, come up before, but apparently there is a Primeape evolution in this gen? That's all I know about that. I'm sure the, uh, I feel like the fighting team star person will probably have an Annihilate. Oh, the poison one is a forest. Oh, Impidimp! Hey! Get over here! Tag Tree Thicket. Oh, uh, here, let me, let me catch this thing and then... Are you good to... You want to just, like, give me the stuff now, Gleam? We're going to be way over-leveled for this poison place. Grimmsnarl was also, like, pretty strong without a lot of uh, defense or speed. But no, he had defense. He had to evolve to get defense, but... Uh, Everyone uses Annihilate, he's broken. Well, I guess I, I guess I gotta evolve one. Is it, uh... Is it one of those, like, conf weird evolutions? It's not just leveling up a primate, I assume. You have to use Rage Fist 20 times. I see. The reason this Pokémon causes trouble for those it feels close to is because Impidimp itself gets irritable if it can't absorb negative emotions. Oh. Well, that's unpleasant. An NPC tells you how to evolve him. That's better than nothing. A lot a lot of these evolutions just feel so arbitrary. At least I don't have to turn my switch upside down. So, that's nice. Uh, oh, I didn't want to be on box 6. I want to be box 14 is where I'm sticking the new ones. I've been organizing them in Pokedex order, but I don't want to do like all of them because I don't want to look at the full Pokedex yet. I'm trying to keep myself, like, again, as blind as possible. 
All right, connect to internet. Gleam, yeah, you got a code, or you wanna, you want me to pick one? Where I'm going, Poke Portal. I found out how to breed. It's weird in this game. Uh, Link Trade. Wait, what is it? It's uh, eight characters. Uh, four, five, eight, nine, four, five, eight, nine. Give it like 10 seconds for the stream. I need a Sprigatito, and I need a... Apparently, you can get... Well, I knew about this. This has existed for an, a, a generation or two. There's an item that will let you get the hidden ability for a Pokemon. Just, like, give it to a Pokemon that doesn't have the hidden ability, and it'll have the hidden ability. Which is convenient. It kind of makes my, like, my hunt for all the hidden abilities feel less meaningful. But we lost the nat national deck, so it's not really meaningful anyway. I forget how many Sinisties are, like, true form. Is it like is it one of those stupid like one in a hundred things? Is it would it take that long to get a real sinisty? Also, what does a real sinisty change as opposed to the, the phony form? They they can both evolve, right? Have my OG Cyclozar. The real form isn't cracked. As in physically cracked, not like... It's just like that very small, like, visual difference, though. There's no functional difference between them. Oh, it's in a luxury ball. These mice have it made. I think, is that a luxury ball? So this Tanda Mouse has Technician. Now it has own tempo. Okay, I'm guessing it... The own tempo is the hidden ability of Tanda Mouse and Mousehold has Technician. Okay. So Gleam has made me aware that apparently one of Mousehold's signature moves is a multi-hit that hits up to ten times. It just keeps going until it misses to a maximum of ten. You can use the wide lens to make it so it basically never misses, pretty much guaranteeing all ten hits. And you can also terrestrialize it to boost the damage past stab even further, and guarantee a basically 350 power move on every turn. You know what, maybe I should evolve the, uh, maybe I should evolve the starters. Maybe I should start working on them. I've seen engine evolution. It's not really, like, impressive. It can wait. I don't remember where it goes in the Pokedex, so I'll just, I'll stick it at the end for now. I'll, I'll figure it out later. Big Red, maybe, maybe you'll come back later. I'll keep Amy just for the sake of, uh, of evolution. The cycle if I do use Cyclazar, it can wait, because it's already, it's level 45.
We got three rare candies. Uh, I don't have three. I'll, that's all right. I'll wait for Elf because Elf also needs to evolve his dolphin. Thanks, though. I think I have... Oh, I do have three. Oh, I'll wait, though. Get out of here. Is that... Cro no, that's Kamala. I was just barely short of walking far enough to trigger the cutscene. Hello, Clive. What if I just call him out this time? Just this one time. Oh, no, he just doesn't acknowledge it. Alright, he's here to resolve a sticky situation and to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. I want to know why they're all playing hooky. As a concerned fellow student, of course. He's had some success opening up a dialogue. I'm starting to understand things. We're just... Wait, wait to say nothing, Clive. Hey, good talk. Keep doing what you're doing. Fight all five. Nothing has changed after that conversation. Uh, Elf, if you wanna, if you wanna hop on, we can do that. Even the, even the menus have frame rate issues. I was watching uh, I was watching Wickersham. He's playing uh, Banjo Tooie right now, and that also has like uh, frame rate issues. It was a very late Nintendo 64 game, and Rare was known to try to uh, they say push the system to its limit, but I, I would say Tooie pushed it a little bit past its limit. Uh, QXW18Y, Elf. I, I couldn't help but draw parallels to uh, Sword Shield. Uh, not Sword Shield, Scarlet Violet. It seemed like a game that critics would have said, well, where's the Nintendo 64 too? That this should have been on the next console. I don't think they did. I don't know if it's because people are just used to uh, used to things working like that on late N64 games, or if maybe just standards were different at the time. I feel like there was less of an obsession with being cutting edge. Like, people didn't care quite as much about uh, having, you know, the, the best specs on a console. Video game companies seem to think people cared. It was, that all the advertising campaigns were all about, uh, you know, blast processing. Genesis does what Nintendo don't. I think most people just bought the consoles for whatever games were on them. It was more about exclusives back then. We don't really have exclusives anymore. Barely. Nintendo has exclusives. They're about the only ones. Well, shoot, maybe I should add Annihilate to my team. I do want some type coverage, though. And without the, uh, without the stupid clown crocodile, I'm now out, uh, Fire and Ghost. Which... I don't know, Ghost isn't really all that useful for type coverage. Hello, elf man. So I should be able to just level up dolphin a few times.
I got all these candies to use. I guess I could save them for a Pokemon that don't need it. It, I, it doesn't matter anymore. Rare Candy no longer just adds enough to get it to the next level. Nowadays, I'm pretty sure Rare Candies add... No, they do. Okay. I thought it would, like, fill up a little bit of the bar in addition. Echo 2, The Tides of Time. It looks exactly the same, but it's got, like, bark. it's got tats. Zero form. This Pokemon changes its appearance if it hears its allies calling for help. Palafin will never show anybody its moment of transformation. Here's its allies calling for help. Oh. Oh, it's a superhero. It's a superhero dolphin? That's- that's its gimmick? Okay, well, I know... I am thankfully aware Flip Turn is what allows it to transform, so I definitely want that. After making its attack, user rushes back to switch places- okay, it, it's U-Turn, but, uh, Water-type. 60 power... Do I want to- I don't need Astonish. Get rid of Astonish. I don't really want to have three water-type attack moves, though. Okay. Good time, Elf. And away he go. Apparently, uh, I think it was Saucy who thought that the Virgin, vir Virgin, the Virgin exclusives, uh, that feature only works in Area Zero. But uh, according to Cerebi, no, you can you can just walk around with someone, and uh, their Virgin exclusives will spawn around them. So if Jack does like join the lobby later, if I were to follow him, then I would see uh, Pokemon Violet evolutions popping up. Evolutions, Pokemon Violet exclusives. Where am I? Where was I warped to by this elf magic? Why, why am I here? Alright, where's the, where's the stupid forest? Did I go to the right place? Yeah, I did. It's, a, it's just a, a dense, tropical-ish forest. Right next to some desert badlands. Save the frames. Oh, it's really bad here. I think this is the worst it's been so far. I did see... I caught that thing. Toad School is what it's called. Not, not Tentacool, Toad School. And it's supposed to be a mushroom. It's supposed to be based on, like, a wood ear. It drops pieces off of itself that are edible. Which is the second Pokemon in this gen to do that. There's a fish that cuts its own meat off, and there's a mushroom that drops bits of itself. They really want to drive the point home that, uh, yes, we eat Pokemon, but it's okay. They don't die. We, we don't, like, butcher them. 
They, they just, they weren't using those body parts anyway. Do me a favor and go home, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of the Navi Squad. Who, who's this? Who's this bab? Boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving till you let me talk to Don Atticus. What was the, the what was the Pulp Fiction guy? Marcellus Wallace. Take show bring me to Marcellus Wallace. Hello. Here comes here comes another rando to ruin my day. Yeah. Oh, this, this is a newbie. Mr. Grunt. Oh, I'm famous. They they know about Liz. Yep. Oh, I, sh I should have said the other one. Okay, so are, are, are my antics inspiring others to, like, also stir up shit with Team Star? Everyone else is the base is in the base is still asleep since we were all up pl late la We were all up playing video games! Wait, no, he- he's not stirring up shit, he wants to join them. Don Atticus will be in danger? Okay. But this weird little NPC and his he's got his own little story going on. Little mini Chad. Like the bleach character, not 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 the not the meme. All right, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. All right. I don't care who you are. I'll beat up a child in a Pokemon battle. Not like I haven't done that before. Yosef. Yosef Yostar. Oh, this is not a great Pokemon to be using at the Poison Gym. Or the Poison Base. What else have I got? Junior. I got Junior, and I got the Steel Fairy. Which, by the way... Is there anything, like, inherently steel about Tinkatuff? Or is it just a fairy with a hammer? Am I a Steel-type if I'm holding a hammer? Is that how that works? It also hasn't learned any, like, good steel moves yet. It had a it had a special steel move I had to replace with the metal claw. So that's all it's got so far. This is a nice battle theme. I don't know if we've heard it before. This is like, uh, this is like Super Electronic. It's shiny, just changes the color of the hammer. We're, we're on Gen 9, why are we still doing such awful shinies? I think you, Gleam, you, you showed me the shiny for, uh, Tandem Mouse. And it's one of those ones that is just completely and utterly unnoticeable. You would you would never see the difference unless someone explicitly pointed out to you, and even then, you can barely make it out. Super Fang already? Now, I remember when that was like the ultimate move. That was the signature of uh, of of Ratata and Raticate. It was like the best they were gonna get. I don't need helping hand. I also don't need echo voice or baby doll eyes. Is Sprigatito a physical or special attacker? Okay, it's physical. So I don't... Eh, whatever. Never misses. 
Also, I'm not gonna use it anyway. Probably. I guess maybe if, if one of the other starters turns into something amazing. I, I could be convinced to have that on my party. Clive, strolling in with his own theme music. He's got it playing on his iPod, his iPod shuffle he's got in his pocket that he bought in 2012. Still works. No fair. You had backup this whole time. Is this boy one of the Academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. Nope, I'm not a member of Team Star. But Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Alright, he has his reasons. Whatever this kid's story is. Oh, Clive's gonna find out his story. I bought a uh, dark type Rotom case. So here's an option I didn't even consider. I I guess that I either Cassiopeia was that Penny was Cassiopeia, or that Penny was the leader of Team Star, the one who founded it, and it got out of hand. It po it's possible she's both. That's my that's my current guess. She started the team, it grew out of control, and uh, now she's trying to dissolve it. Alright, so this is, the, this is the designer of Team Star. Very important role in the company. Company. The, the, the high school gang company. Take out as many, you know, same, same, same deal. Same as every other base. Am I wet? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm a little, like, I'm soaked from the rain. Uh, okay, poison, so. I'm still, I don't think, I, I don't think I'll use Amy. I, I kind of liked her at first, but, uh, I don't know. I'm, gr I'm growing less impressed with her. Tinka Tough just seems okay. Seems the, oper the folks behind Operation Star Fool are finally making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang. Ringo's Unite! Team Star! Alright, so this is the poison base. There's gonna be a lot of those little the mice. And the probably Grafai Eye at this point in the game. Was it? There it is. There's a Grafai Eye. It's gonna be... maybe Grimers? Oh, Claude Sire? Oh, Amy Rose took a beating! That's right, because she's Fairy-type, too. I don't know if I... I don't know if I found any Seviper. I haven't caught that one yet. Might be a Violet exclusive. Or may is more common in Violet. Gaming.
I got it. It's it's nice that they're trying like different types of challenges, I guess. But uh I don't know. I, 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 I can't say I feel particularly engaged doing this. Yep. She's way above all level. Oh no! Alright, it's, it's just a car. Every, every one of them has a fucking car. Okay, so, the entire thing isn't the Pokemon. The Pokemon is just the thing moving in the front. It's the engine. It's, like, way smaller than the whole of the car. Okay, maybe maybe the car is, like, a form. Maybe it doesn't show up in, like, the, the Pokedex. I don't know. I still haven't evolved my engine, so, uh... Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. Okay. This is this is a very fancy person. You're that scoundrel, Liz. Just pretend it says Liz. Come then, villainous wretch. A plunge into grim poison. That's not usually something you see heroes using. Poison. It's not a very heroic archetype. It's okay, take your time, game. He's just, he's a poison graffiti ninja. What, what a character concept. Alright, uh, Skun Tank. I, I can deal with that. I can Skun Tank. Certain moves can poison with a mere graze. I guess, yeah. Oh, does it have Aftermath? It does not have Aftermath. Rev of Room. Okay, so it's going to be a poison-type car. I'm... Okay, no, the... Was that the case the last several times? Or is this not the car? Is this a rev of room which is not part of the vehicle? I'm so confused by these things. Uh, so Revavroom, assuming it's it's the normal version, is Poison Steel. What can I do? Well, that was my dude. He just got taken out. I might have to, uh... Maybe I can revive, and uh, I can use the U-turn the, the move. I'll save my one max revive for now. It just, it smacked me in the face. Uh, what does it need? It needs about 50, 60. Alright. Use your heroic flea. There it is. Look, look, look at its splendor. Unfortunately, I can't send it back out immediately. I have to. Uh, I have to. I have to change. Unfortunately, Iron Head is super effective. Wait, what? Oh, because the 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 swap out move, it went first. Well, that's not good. It's gonna Iron Head and kill me.
Why can't my rock take a hit? All right, let's let's see what uh, let's see what Super Dolphin can do. Wow, that looks stupid. I don't like that. Maybe I won't use the dolphin, even if it is really good. Palafin. But, okay, so why is it a play on Paladin, a knight, if its gimmick is that it's a superhero? Muck. What can deal with a muck? I don't really have anything for that. I'll send out Amy and I will once again revive uh, revive Junior. The steel type is down. Maybe it'll be maybe he'll be fine now. You can relearn a signature move called Jet Punch. Okay, that's good to know. Why... Why would I have to relearn that? Why isn't that, uh... I should be able to learn that on, uh... On Evolution. That seems a little bit scummy, hiding signature moves behind having the, the, the move relearner. I mean, that's me. I'm the mover learner, but still. I don't want to have to check what moves I missed every time I evolve something. Yeah, mud slap. I got earthquake. Tyranitar is great because it and its entire line just never have any shortage of super damaging moves. Yeah, look at the earth appear up there. Alright, here it is. It, 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 Atticus has two Reva, Reva rooms. Graffiti Ninja. He's a Ninjala character. I just realized that. This motherfucker just... He lo he played Ninjala and he loved it. I guess Ninjala was about gum. So the Splatoon is graffiti. Oh, come on! Fucking, I'm, I'm too hurt from the my, my accuracy being lowered. You know what? I'll fix that. I'll swap out. Uh, Shroomish, take one for the team. Now, is it still steel poison type, or is it pure poison? Because it seemed like the other cars were just solo the type that they were using. Rest in peace, Mushroom. Probably should have just sent out Amy, but you know what? I kind of wanted it to faint so that I could I would get the free swap into to Junior. Okay, that's an interesting move. I wonder if these will be like. Uh, I was gonna say if these will be like event things, you can get the uh, the Team Star Reva rooms.
but I still don't know the details of the just the regular evolution. You can nickname traded Pokemon now. You could in the previous gen, but only once, I believe. So, uh, you might have just used your one rename. It also depends on if they are... if they have a nickname already. I think if they don't have a name, then you can do it. Forgive me, my friends! Okay, now, now we get the sad backstory. A year and a half ago, everybody looked exactly the same as they do now. Age is a construct. It took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Yep, insane boots. Okay, that's right, he's the designer. He designs all, all their weird little outfits. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Ares the fighting type. She's gotta be. Infernal Ari. Okay. You two looking like absolute beasts. People bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff. It's so majestic. It's, it, it's nice to know that there were uh, there were wild Crydon running around in the past year and a half ago. All right, yeah, Atticus haters bullied. Everyone's everyone's bullied. Everyone's victims. That's why we're all delinquents. It's tragic. Never before done in anime. Uh, was the one that you renamed Gleam, did it already have a name? Or was it nameless? Everyone just makes their own badges to give out to people. Batches mean nothing in this region. Okay, gunk shot. I don't remember if that's any good or not. Her throat it shoots fill I I get in I get in the ring, right? And I throw garbage everywhere. Uh no, thy name is Liz, but close enough. Thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Don Atticus. This little fella has been dying to speak with you face to face. He came to help. Okay, what's he gonna help? If you don't start going to class, you'll be expelled. Okay, no Team Star are the good guys. They, they save people from being bullied. I heard something about this. This is like a reformed bullies kind of thing or something. It sure is a plot. But boy, my heart is, is just melting. I'm, I'm so moved right now. We're still waiting to meet our big boss who we've never met, but she's a, she's a very good hacker. We know that about her. We must maintain our vigils from the bases. Just hanging around. Like, they're trying to make this them seem noble, but they're just like... fucking off doing nothing all day. They took over a random jungle. They've kicked everybody out. And they painted graffiti on all the trees and they're not going to school. But it's okay, they have a sad story, so that that's 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 the way that it should be. Can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. 
Have I been the Chugi all along? Yeah, you sure have been out of the loop, Clive. Wow, even if it's nameless, you only get to rename it once? I, and if it's named, I bet you don't get to rename it at all. Alright, hello. Yes, I, I got their, their fake made-up badge. My bag is now just chock-full of cardboard badges that people keep, keep drawing and giving to me. Operation Starfall, taking down all but two bases. That's another way of saying I've taken down three bases. Final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five bosses, the one they call the Big Boss. I wonder who it could be. I wouldn't know. Yeah, who is Big Boss? They control five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say, Snake! If we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that'll be it for Team Star! She's Otacon now. I've, I've decided. Pet Cassiopeia, whoever Cassiopeia is, is Otacon. They keep their ident identity hidden. I take it they're not one for the spotlight, Snake! All right, give me some LP. I have not used any LP this entire playthrough. It's still just sitting there. Get more TMs with the TM machine. TM tum, the tum. Hello. That uh sounded like a pretty serious phone call. You sound familiar, Penny. The two things that Koridon likes most. Sandwiches and toothpaste. Did it it fell asleep licking her? Is that what happened? Yep, Team Star's founder, the person who's all caused all kinds of misery at the Academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. You mean Team Star? Is that what you treasure most? Is it the friendships that we made along the way? What a weird coincidence that, uh... I mean, the, the toothpaste hair has always been a thing, but, uh... It's like 2022, 2023, we would suddenly get two Nintendo games. With uh, specifically, like, red and blue, extremely contrasting hair. I saw you, Elf. I, I mentioned that you were running around in the past. Alright, where am I going? Well, I have this... I should probably... I should, like, explore the, uh, team areas. I really never come back after clearing the, uh... Clearing the bases. And there's there's stuff in here. There's Pokemon. There's Oranguru. That's, uh, that's exclusive. The Scarlet. I haven't got an Applin yet, and I haven't got Pineco. Maybe I should try to take on the final Titan, even though I'm not- I'm at, like, a low level for it. I'm told it unlocks, like, huge mobility. I'm gonna guess that Pineco falls out of trees if I hit them. I 
uh, these trees have Pokemon in them or if it's just the small ones, though. Hello, Orangutan. I'm specifically looking for Oranguru. Oranguru. Oh, it, it wouldn't matter. My, my Shroomish is dead. I guess Oranguru can wait. Uh, what else? What else is there that we can do? We're behind on the on the team star bases. That was one. Uh, there's the fight. Fighting is the last one. Fighting is the strongest. I know that. The Leap Dally Zappa Passage. I went to the lake briefly, and it had like level forty-five Pokemon or something. Let's uh let's head that way. Let's let's at least get this this Pokemon Center unlocked. I'm gonna do that first. And then from there I'll head to the I think I'll head to the lake and I'll try to take out the final Titan Pokemon. There's more mobility. That'd be nice. Maybe we'll finally be able to just, like, outright fly Karidon. I also don't have a Psychic team member, which, uh, Ralts would fill. Or Gardevoir. Psychic Fairy. What new TMs do I have? Can I just see the new ones? I don't know if there's a way to, like, uh, single them out or not. Fly? I think that's new. I didn't have that before. Gunk shot. 80... Oh, 120 power! Physical poison move. That is strong. It's not very accurate, but, uh... Trash apparently makes an excellent projectile. Right now, the only team member I have that can learn it is uh, Shroomish, though. And I don't want to teach it to Shroomish, so... I would need another pair of, another party member that could use it. Zen Headbutt. That could be good. Well, it's a good move. I wouldn't mind if my dolphin had that. Avalanche. I found Dragon Tail in the in the wild somewhere. Is it just Zen Headbutt? I must have gotten some. Don't be afraid to use LP to buy stuff at regular shops. Is there anything that can only be bought with LP, or are they just completely interchangeable? In which case, why is it even a thing? Why isn't it, why aren't people just giving me cash? Jet punch. Yep, it's uh, it's just slightly better, slightly better aqua jet. What well, is flip turn even worth keeping though? Because I could just I could just swap out. I get less damage with it, but is it worth having another, a, like, a move set, a move used up? I don't, I, I don't love that Dive is, uh, is two turns. Maybe I will replace Dive. Where was, where was Zen Headbutt? There is. Yes, I desire one copy. Have my, uh, have my animal fur. My Veluza fillet. Weird, weird machine. Oh, 
I'll wait to see what the pseudo-legendary of this gen is before I finalize my team. Given that it's usually a dragon type and I'm going to a dragon titan, it might be a fair guess that the final titan Pokemon will be the pseudo-legendary of this gen. Alright, map, where am I going? I'm going up here. Also, between streams, I, uh, I cleared out all the Pokemon centers that were saying, like, hey, catch the, or beat these many trainers and you'll get a prize. So, I have all those prizes. Wow, Sneasels are, uh, very on guard. You cannot sneak up on a Sneasel, can you? Alright, fine. Y'all get to live. I'll catch one of you guys later. What a waste of a Pokemon Sneasel was originally. What are you? I'm sorry. What the hell is that? Ketoddle. Is it ice type? I'm in a snowy area. I should have had I should have had like Shroomish out first. I am eager to evolve this thing. I, I want to get my spore so I can no longer have a, a puny little Shroomish. Uh, stun spore. It looks like an ice or normal type. Hopefully this doesn't kill it. I'm gonna punch it with my mushroom. I'll have space for one attack move. And I haven't decided what I want that to be on Breloom. Drain Punch is pretty nice. Physical move. Heals me. Oh, God. So, probably an Ice type. Who needs the experience? Uh, g g get in there, Junior. I have not seen this Pokemon at all. What is it? Given that it has Toddle in its name, I'm going to venture a guess that it evolves into something that is not a toddler. Double hit. Eh, yeah, sure, fine. Whatever. Oh no, I, I, they don't know how to pound anymore. Now they'll never, never have a family. Get rid of that. Alright, Katoddle. Pure ice type. A Terra Whale. This species left the ocean and began living on land a very long time ago. Seems to be closely related to Whalemur. Okay. I don't know what, do, I, what does it even look like. It doesn't resemble anything. It's got lovely mascara. I don't have a name for this thing. Into the box you go. Given its place in the Pokedex, it does- that's another indicator that it does presumably evolve. I wish it were easier to shuffle Pokemon around. I'm pretty sure that uh, last gen, there was a button. Like, I could just, I could press Y, and I would be able to uh, move Pokemon between. But now I have to go into the menu and go to change position. It's a little annoying.
I know there's one other kind of blobular Pokemon that I haven't seen. That's a good word, right? Blobular? There's the pseudo-legendary. I know Annihilate exists, and it's a Primeape evolution. I don't know what it looks like yet. Hello. Oh, there's the there's the ghost dog. That was in that was in like trailers. Grievard. I wonder what this thing evolves into. It does. It looks pretty similar to the uh, the the the, mis the mass shift, whatever it's called. I thought they were related in some way, at first glance. Come on! I got one turn that it will stay asleep. There we go. I also finally remember to remove my trainer's gloves. I have been accidentally wearing them for three streams. Ghost Dog Pokemon. It is said that a dog Pokemon that died in the wild without ever interacting with a human was reborn as this Pokemon. Well, that's just sad. Fido. More like Fi done. Got him. Found some wild, wild Rotoms. Caught one of those. Now I just need to find all the places that I can get all the forms. All right, there's Middle Cat. It has like a, it has a, a leaf loincloth. Floragato. Deftly wields the vine hidden beneath its long fur. Where where is it hidden? Where, where's it hidden beneath its fur? Slamming the hard flower bud against its opponents. It's got like a flail? Bigger off. I haven't found any slakoths. Slackoths. I've seen places that they supposedly appear on the map, but I haven't gotten any to show up. I might have to breed a Vigoroth. Oh, Axew! Let me ask you a question. Guessing they only spawn in trees. Well, the area that it was supposed to spawn in didn't have trees. It was the it was like the Badlands area. East of the of the big town of Mesa Gosa. You bred slacking. Oh there's wild there's wild slackings in this game. That's nice. I'm glad that we're finally at a point where we can have a wild, fully evolved Pokemon. For a while in the series, that was like taboo. You couldn't have wild third forms.
I'm not even really using False Swipe. Is it even going to be necessary? Probably, okay, when I'm stronger. When I have, like, Super Shroom. And I'm trying to catch, like, a little level 2 Victini. I don't know. You can encounter the opposite versions exclusives in raid battles very rarely. I see. The, uh, the exclusives page on, uh, on Cerebi made it seem like there were way fewer exclusives than there probably are. It, it, like, it's a very, very small number. All the, all, the, all the little mons were just, they were fascinated by that battle. They started watching me. I'm, I'm, get, I'm doing the thing again where I'm trying to catch every new thing I see. I shouldn't be doing that. Snom can't take a hit. I might just kill it by accident. Also, how does Snom evolve? Is it a, is this a friendship evolution? I remember Snom took forever to evolve for some reason. I just noticed the uh, Shroomish's health bar. Oh, it's cause it it was so close because of the weird. I'm studying how the how the UI interacts. Ice stone. Oh. Happiness at night time. I was gonna say, no, Ice Stone would be way too easy. Also, wasn't able to evolve a uh, Happiny for some reason, because it's supposed to be just level up with an Oval Stone during the day. Historically, that's what it has been, but that didn't work, so. I don't know if it's changed or uh, what the case was. And Azuril, his happiness evolutions just suck. They take forever. I'm just gonna catch a wild Marill instead. I finally picnicked for the first time off stream. And, uh, it's. I'm pretty sure it's an automatic full heal for your party. So I really have no reason not to do it. Except, again, I, I have so many of these to use up. I have so many healing items. Hello? You have to use the Oval Stone on Happeny directly. I tried that as well and it didn't work. Tauros. Oh, there's one of the new Tauros. That looks like it's... the. F okay, so there's... The regular one is fighting, the, the Paldian Tauros. I'm guessing that's a fire type? Wait, Psychic is also super effective. It's, it's fire fighting, I'm gonna guess. F they they turn Tauros into a fire fighting type. I know in Art in Legends Arceus they changed it to uh, use the Oval Stone on it directly. How st how strong is this thing before transforming? 
Obviously a lot less strong, but uh, a 65 attack. 97 speed. It really has to... Yeah, it has to transform in order to be useful, like, at all, doesn't it? Alright. Now it is attack 133. I wonder what the stat total of its hero form is. Raging Bull. That seems like a new move. Also, rather sad movie about a boxer. Uh, it might be Martin Scorsese. I'm not. I don't remember who directed Raging Bull. Tandem Mouse wants to learn Bullet Seed. Why not? Weird move to learn, but you got nothing else. All your other moves suck. Seed Bomb. Pretty good physical move. Oh, Leafage is physical. That was also a candidate that Shroomish can learn Seed Bomb. It's 80 power. Slightly stronger than Drain Punch. And it's grass type. But it doesn't uh, doesn't drain, so what is that? Oh, it's low kicks. I think. What is that? Is that what all low kicks look like? Or is that like a special form? Did mine have those things on the back of it? I guess I never really looked at its back. Oh no, it's too fast. It will endure my attempts to flee. Okay, I'm not going to worry about returning Pokemon like Snom. I do want to, like, keep an eye out in case there are any, like, new Gen 9 Pokemon on these routes. It's both uh, male and female Pyroar. Very docile. You'd think it would be more dangerous in the world of Pokemon to uh, be within, you know, 10 meters of a pack of lions. Given that they are not just lions, they're fire-breathing lions. But no, they're docile. They don't care. Somehow Pokemon lions are safer than real-world lions. So Aksu, Sneasel... I was saying, like, what a waste of a Pokemon Sneasel was in Gen 2, because it had the same problems that, like, the Dark type as a whole had. It was a physical attacker with all special moves. Actually, you know what? Chansey, get back here. I'm not gonna catch you, but you're, you're some good meat. There's some there's some EXP on this Chansey. Yum yum yum. Level 39, just one more level. Tandem Mouse wants to learn Encore. Nah. I'm good without Encore. In fact, now that it's 39, I can... Uh, get rid of that Everstone. Is there anything else maybe I want to give it? I do have a good number of items now. Punching Glove. Boost the power of punching moves? Alright, well that's even better for Drain Punch. I wonder how much it boosts by. 
Otherwise, there's uh, le leftovers is also great for a uh, a Pokemon that's designed to like hang out. I'll give it leftovers for now because it's gonna it's gonna like uh, it's a catcher. It's gonna just sit out and take damage while I'm trying to get a Mon in a ball. All right, it's clearly daytime. Punching glove only boosts by 1.1 times. Oh, that's lame. Also, I... Uh-oh. I've been in box one, so all of these things have been going into the, uh... Just getting mixed in and scrambled where I did not want them to go. Whoops. That's okay, I can, I can pick them out. Let's see, I got Katoddle... I got, uh, what else does not belong here? Fi Dun. Uh, no, that's, that's where the old tandem house is. Axu. I guess the main function of the punching glove is not having the uh, the physical contact. It just still seems like a pretty dumb item. Happiny. Happiny is holding an oval stone. Maybe we'll run into another Chansey, get some EXP off of. Or Trainer. Lycanroc. I'll take an awesome video of this battle with my camera app. It's gonna blow up everyone's feeds. We, re we, we really do be in 2022. So... These trainers are randomly generated, right? I actually can't tell. Because they're, they're made off of templates, the trainers. They often have, like, slightly different uh, skin tones or hair colors or... Uh, things like that. They're the same each time. The vast majority of them also only have one Pokémon. This kid doesn't. This kid knows what's up. It's probably not the best thing to be using against uh, Morgrim. Oh no, it did alright. Fear the Mushroom. I just realized, I don't think I can, uh... So, Spore is nice because it works on Pokémon that are immune to paralysis, such as electric types. However, I think both Spore and Stun Spore don't work on Grass Pokémon, because at some point, Grass Pokémon became immune to Powder moves. So that's a shortcoming with this particular catching Pokémon. All right, Happiny leveled up. It is daytime. It has an oval stone. A kilowattrol. Wait, what is that? It's electric. Clearly.
Oh, that thing. I could, I could put an Electros on my team just, just to mess with anyone I fight. Put Jack up against a Pokemon with no weakness. Uh, yeah, covet all you want. Greed is good. Now evolve. I can't post this. No, not you! Alright, it has big hammer. Final form, Tinkaton. This intelligent Pokemon has a very daring disposition. It knocks rocks into the sky with its hammer, aiming for flying Corviknight. Alright. It is kinda cute. Gigaton hammer. Oh, finally! Some good fucking moves! Can't be used twice in a row. 160 power, 100 accuracy, though. Maybe I should have gotten rid of Slam. Maybe Metal Claw was still better than Slam. Oh, there we go. Why didn't that work last time? Happiny is a camera hog. It would refuse to evolve off stream. Egg. Can I offer you a nice egg Pokemon in this trying time? All right, I'll I'll stick with Amy for now. That's a that's a nice move. 160 power. That uh, that might have saved my opinion of this Pokemon. Is there anything else I missed? Maybe daytime is ambiguous in this game. It's true. Could have been just, like, dusk that it happened. I still haven't evolved Olive. Olive has one more form, but you know what? I also kind of like her in that form. I kind of I kind of like her staying as Cosmo the Cedrian. Is that where Roly Coley's supposed to go? Yeah, I think it is. That's another thing. Not, not only do the boxes load slowly... It's not really easy to, uh... Like, where's the- where's his Pokedex number? It's just not on the screen. I have to- I have to keep, like, a web page open with the Pokedex numbers if I want to have them in order like this. There's a lot of little UI things that I don't love in this game. Okay, so potential things to later add to the party. I might add Cyclozar. I might use Gardevoir. Oh, there's the there's the bear. Disgusting ice snot bear. I hate that trope. That stupid Japanese children's cartoon trope of the character with the giant snot dripping down. Ugh. There's a Wind Waker character too. You flittle. Where am I going? I'm going up this wall. Okay, see you later, elf. Another Pyroar and her cubs. Again, very docile. Doesn't mind that I was about 20 feet away. What is that? Oh, it's Snorunt. Hello, Snorunt. You chillin'? There's a ghost dog. 
that I guess has a thing for digging. Because it, it's a ghost. It's, it's like in its grave. It's underground. Is that the thing? Is that what's going on? There's the evolved ghost dog, I assume. It's got a gravestone on its head. Slightly morbid. Oh, and there's a... Uh, I have seen that's the evolved pepper. What's my what's my opening mon? My opening mon is shroomish. I'm just I'm a little wary of things that I can actually fight. I don't really want to fight another grass type as shroomish. I'm so close to level 40 though. You know what? What else am I going to use these for? Yeah, have one of those medium candies. Yeah, learn Spore. What a mean move. To make you have to, uh, have to keep it a shroomish until level 40 to learn Spore. It absolutely cannot learn it once it becomes a Brawloom. You need to, you need to have it. You need to keep it as a shroomish. Well, it's not a special attacker, so I definitely don't want to keep Giga Drain. Or won't be a special attacker once it evolves. There we go. Doesn't that just scream fighting type? Those tiny little arms? They're barely there. It scatters poisonous spores and throws powerful punches while its foe is hampered by inhaled spores. Reloom is not one of my favorite Pokemon, but it is one of the, like, most useful Pokemon. Mock Punch. Probably don't want that. It's 40 power. Nah, I'm good. Drain Punch is better. I think its Terra type is Grass, though, so, uh... In theory, a physical Grass move would be better. I just kind of... I, I, I like Drain Punch, though. And the grass moves I could teach it won't, like, drain. Not the physical ones. The physical one... My option is basically just seed bomb. I want that. I want that ball. Yeah. Ultra ball. What's this? There's ruins here. I have encountered such things. These are where... These are where Tinkatuffs like to hang out. Also, there's a... I guess there's a Gimme Ghoul here. I'll take those. Get some uh, Gimme Ghoul coins. I don't know why I needed to save before that, as if I'm going to lose to a Gimme Ghoul. Gimmigool is a ghost with rattled. It's it gets scared easily. So all my Pokemon have evolved. I guess I'm just I just have the one spot left. I only have one slot left for uh, evolving new Pokemon. I guess I could, like, swap out some regular team members. Just for the sake of seeing more evolutions. Body press. Higher the user's defense stat. What? I'm not aware- I'm not familiar with that move. It's a fighting-type move for Pokémon with high defense? Higher the user's defense stat, the greater the damage. Interesting. 
Okay. I can't think of any fighting types with like ultra high defense off the top of my head. <laughs> that would be that would be a funny move for Shuckle to use. I, mean, I can't learn it, I'm sure, but imagine. What are my highest level mons? Well, now that I have... I I do kind of want to keep Reloom because it's a catcher, but... I guess I could sub it out for a little bit. I'll put Reloom on the, on the standby. Let's evolve Duck. Evolve Duck, uh... I'm still really curious to evolve the engine. I I gotta know how its mechanics work. Get it? You see, you see what I did there? I am really curious, though, like, how close it gets to whatever bullshit customization Team Star has going on. If there's, like, it has an ability that lets you choose what type it can be or something... Sayed the Black Belt. Interesting looking black belts in this gen. Wow, is it was it just like floating on grass? That's impressive. I wanna get I wanna get a close-up of that. Let me get closer. I wanna see its feet. Give me a Tarantino shot. I can't quite tell if it's floating. I I, I think it landed. Oh, good. I got Aerial Ace for this. Now watch my amazing acrobatics. My most nimble of rock pupas. This makes less sense than, like, Metapod and Kakuna. Because at most they have, like, Tackle or Poison Sting. This pupa is supposed to be, like, flying around at supersonic speed, causing earthquakes and slicing things with, with magic rocks. Uh, Bug-type. Is that worth getting rid of Magical Leaf? Could be. Or Hone Claws. I'm gonna declaw my cat. Is Quaxley a flying type or is it pure? No, it's pure water. Also, is it physical? Yeah, it's more physical attack than special attack. I'm guessing that the cat is more physical attack, the crocodile's more special attack, and uh, Quaxley is a mixed attacker. So beautiful, so graceful. Quaxwell. It looks like it's wearing a duck diaper. Practicing Pokemon. These Pokemon constantly run through shallow waters to train their legs, then compete with each other to see which of them kicks most gracefully. Uh, okay, it's like an ice skater ballet thing? Actually, it's also physical. Okay. I guess that makes sense, because I have one with a boost spe boosted special attack nature, so they're a little bit closer than they would otherwise be. That's not a shiny, is it? It's got like reddish. I, I, you know what? I can find out. No, I can't. Never mind. I wanted to find out with auto battle, but uh, oh well.
I, I love Tyranitar's move pool. It's never not great. At any stage of its life. It just always has good moves. Aqua Tail, 90 power. Uh, that's not bad. Again. Do I want three water moves, though? Is, is it worth keeping Jet Punch? Always going first is nice, but thir a 30 power difference. I'll, I'll keep it in the in the in the backlog. Ghost dog. Two different sized flittles, I think. Saucy mentioned that she thought it seemed like Pokemon did vary in size at least a little bit in this one. I'm never going to run out of potions, am I? I'm going to have these for the rest of the game. Doesn't matter how many I use. There's always going to be more. Is this a clown? No, I'm sorry. It's a it's a graffiti artist. Tanya. I heard that there is now a snow weather condition, as distinct from hail. So you can be in snowy areas and not get, like, pelted every turn. But it also has the function of, uh, what does snow do? It raises Ice-type's special defense? Similar to what Stan uh, Sandstorm does for uh, water t uh, rock-types. Uh-oh. Hail was removed. Oh, hail no longer exists. So abilities that previously caused hail now cause snow. Raises defensive ice. I see. Low sweep. A fighting type move? Alright. I okay. We're, we're talking about like graceful kicks. It's gonna be a water fighting type. Frost last. Man, it would have been nice to uh, have Junior against Frost last. Unfortunately, I do not. I'll have to. I'll s smash the ghost with a hammer. Yzma style. That, that would have been an a great alternative name. Instead of Amy Rose, I could have called it Yzma. G G. Oh, come on! Can I still not use it twice in a row even though I missed? Wow, man. It had a hundred accuracy, too. So Snow raises the defense of Ice type. Sandstorm raises the special defense of Rock type. But Snow slash Hail no longer causes damage, but Sand still does. There's Skull Villain. Oh, Snow Cloak, that's why it's missed? That makes sense. Is there a Pokemon Center near here? I was just headed to one. Sleeping Flittle. Oh, it's like down a mountain 
is the Pokemon Center. I guess, is it in a giant hole? I think it is at the bottom of the crevasse, is the Pokemon Center. Hello, Ursa Ring. All right. Uh, well, let me explore up high before I go down low. I can do this now. I can jump. We in some, uh, we, we in like some Swiss Alp, Swiss Alps now. Wait, why did that initiate an encounter? I was a mile away from that thing. All right, well, away we go. It really is just at the bottom of a giant cliff. Look, I'll be on the roof. Why set up down here, though? What is your commute to work like every day? I'm so sorry. They've got, like, the same pose, the cat and the duck. Alright, one trainer in the passage. Is, okay, so this is, like, a cave of some kind? Hello, Gimme Ghoul. There's a mountain path, there's a, a, a tunnel, I guess? Let's go spelunking. Well, this is nice, I guess. It's a, a little bit of a new, uh, some new geometry. Geometry. Geology. Yeah, new geometry. Cave Pokemon don't seem to vary that much. There's like, uh, one cave is as good as any other cave. They're all full of, well, this one has, uh, snow runts. But they all seem to have, like, uh, gibbles. I th did I get a Dino? Dino? Hey, Dino. Do I have one of you? I don't. All right, let's uh, let's catch a dino. I'm worried my strong moves are gonna kill it. I was correct to be worried. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced dino. Because, uh, Eins, Y, Dry. Dre? I know it's 1, 2, 3 in German. Is the naming scheme. It can't see, so its first approach to examining things is to bite them. You will be covered in wounds until a, di a dino warms up to you. Wounds. Traditionally, I have called my dinos Ringo, but uh, the role of Ringo Star has been taken in this game. By Team Star. Who, unfortunately to my knowledge, have not yet trained any dinos. Pick up. There we go. An another revive. I can't... Get out of here, Sableye. I kind of miss Megas. I mean, not that much, but... Uh... I, it just seems like kind of a waste. Like, Sableye is back to being a nothing Pokemon now that it no longer has its mega form. Who's going to use a Sableye? Nobody. That's who. And Snorunts. There's a lot of trainers in this cave. I guess that's nothing new. There's always trainers in caves in Pokemon for some reason. 
I don't know why this would be a preferred place to congregate for battle. Unless you were trying to avoid the pokey cops. Do the officer jennies crack down on uh, battles out in the field? Power gem. It's a special attack rock move. I don't know if I have anyone who would benefit from that. I have a fully battle re ready Sableye. Oh, well, I'm sorry for, I'm sorry for questioning your Pokemon choices as I ride my invisible Coridon. Is that Dunsparce? Uh, oh, Lucario. All right, well... Might be worth getting my, my catcher out for Lucario. I am willing to, uh, let, let's catch a Lucario. Now, don't, get out of here, ghost dog. Alright, you and me, Goku. What's its, uh, what's its, oh, this is a Terra Lucario. I didn't even need to have, like, a special catching Pokemon. It's an Ice-type Goku. It's a level 75 ice type Goku. Uh oh. Rest in peace, mushroom. Maybe my hammer can cut it. Also, I got I got mouse hold. Unfortunately, as cool as they look, these, uh, these, like, glowing, wild, special Pokemon at a high level, they're not really that special, to my knowledge, because, uh, like, Terra-type, you, you can, like, just use items to change a Pokemon's Terra-type. I wouldn't have to, like, hunt down for an Ice Lucario and then celebrate when I found this one. Uh, am I just going to have to cut my losses here? I might just have to run. I could, I could just swap out, I guess. Mouse hold, take one for the team. I need the boosted power. I need All Might. Never fear, I am here. Please save the day, Dolphin Man. Uh, what? Zen Headbutt is neutral. Acrobatics is neutral. Everything I have is neutral. I guess I'll just punch it. Oh, uh, that's not good. Yeah. Rip. Well, this was a wash. Flee. Escape. Alright. I apologize for challenging you, Lucario. You have won this match. Uh, I hope you'll join me for a lovely picnic. Let's make a sandwich, because why not? I don't know if I have to make a sandwich in order to uh, actually heal my Pokemon. I don't think I do, but... Uh... Here, pickle sandwich. Who doesn't love a pickle sandwich? Did I... I, lo I lost a pickle. What kind of sandwich is this? It's two pieces of bread with two tiny pickles on it. 
That's kind of the case with all the sandwiches in this game. There's just nothing on them. No one makes sandwiches like this. Look at all of the stuff that I got out for this pickle sandwich. What a hassle setting up this picnic table would be. Wow, it's amazing. I got two whole bites of pickle. Somehow that's a three star. Alright, uh, good picnic, everyone. Well, I got Lucario in the Pokedex, at least. I don't know if I've seen a, uh, if I've seen Riolu. So I'm still missing the Lucario family. to land it. I don't really have a specific reason to be in this cave. I'm just exploring. It's a, it's a cool cave. This is like the first time I've ever had like any enthusiasm at all for being in a cave in a Pokemon game. It's amazing how much a difference not having random encounters makes. Larvitar. Well, for version exclusives, Larvitar and Dino are, are pretty good. Definitely a worthwhile reason to argue for Scarlet version. I wonder if I'll even hit level 64 before the end of this game, though. Like, Hy Hydreigon is one of those Gen 5 Pokemon that take forever to evolve. That's a, that's a Torkoal. Cave back at the beginning of the game is pretty sick, too. I did go back there once off-stream, I think, to get a, uh, like, a Young Goose or something. I didn't explore too deeply. I think I did go to the bottom. There was like a, a pond of water and a TM down there. I found a mass outbreak of wild glimmet? That's one of the new Pokemon. That's the Blobular thing I was talking about. What the hell is a Glimmet? <sighs> Man, I feel like I need my Ketchermon, though. You know what? I don't- I don't love Dolphin anymore. Do Dolphin's kind- kind- kind of dumb. I'll put Dolphin on the back burner. Maybe- maybe he'll come back. All right, Glimmet. It's a uh, flower with one giant hanging testicle. Is it grass type? Will my, will my powders work on it? Normally it only has a 1% encounter rate. All right, well, I'm glad that I found an outbreak. Power gem. So is rock type, potentially. Am I going to kill it with Drain Punch? There's some more of them around, so not the end of the world. Yeah, that killed it. Uh-oh. Toxic. It has Toxic degree. It Debris. It has the same power as that car that I previously fought. 
Aqua Cutter. Uh, physical... Height and chance. Okay, Water Slash. Gotta be careful I don't walk on any of the toxic spikes. They could kill a human. Alright. Let's try another Glimmit. This, this is why I have False Swipe. Aspar. Rock Poison? What else? It wasn't... Isn't Nihilego Rock Poison? It's a weird type combination that we don't see often. Assuming that's even what it is. Is it like a like a, a a toxic barnacle? Is that the idea? What's the point of uh, of toxic debris activating more than once? Are there two stages of toxic spikes? Is it like the first one poisons and the second badly poisons? I know there's multiple stages of some arena moves. Fake out. Do I want fake out? I think it's still 40 power. I don't think that ever changed. You know what? Get rid of slam. What's slam doing here? Get out of here, slam. Play rough, sure. Oh, I gotta see if Mousehold can learn uh, its super move. Or Pokemon. It absorbs nutrients from cave walls. The petals it wears are made of crystallized poison. Okay. Or. Or what? I know it evolves. I know it has an evolution. There's some things that you just kind of can't not notice when you're scrolling through a list. I, I didn't take a good look at the evolution, so I don't know what it looks like. Uh, Pokemon. Check summary. Moves. What can it remember? Follow me. Tidy up is one of it. It has two, not one, but two signature moves. Uh, removes effects and boosts attack and speed stats. What, what a crazy move. Let's take Dragon Dance and make it better. No need bullet seed. Lord special attack. That's all right. I don't need special attack. Put mouse hold in the front. Get it some experience. Hello? Where am I? Oh, I'm a, I went the right way. I guess. I didn't really need to go through there, but I wound up in the right place. I've been heading towards Medali. Tell me about cold places. My life gets a bit easier. Why? why? I, I wouldn't want to courier things in the cold. That sounds awful. I love when we get to peek under the world like that. Uh, what do I have against steel flying? And stone is neutral. I would need fire or electric, and I have neither, so, uh... Yeah, 
heck this? Just deer wandering in the back. It's not bothering anyone. Sure, Terrasolite. Oh, it's a ground type steer. Well, that's not great. It's gonna turn into a, it's gonna turn into a rock dark type. I guess you know what? That's fine because I'll probably keep Earthquake on Tyranitar. So if I really want to, I can Terrastalize and get stabbed for a Earthquake. I'm gonna make another coffee real quick while this is going on. Excuse me a moment. Yeah, Stone Age. Give him the rock. Here, my uh, curing machine in the background. I don't remember if Corviknight gets any steel moves. I feel like it took a long time for us to to get one with it. Uh, oh, Crunch is wait is Dark still not very effective against steel? Or they changed that at some point? Yeah, Dark is now neutral against steel. They don't change things like that very often. Worry Seed. Do I want that? I know what it does. Removes the target's ability. Eh, it's very... It's, it's niche. It's good for competitive, but... Uh, Brave Bird and... Oh, it can learn Body Press. What are some Pokemon with uh, crazy defense? I obviously, I made the joke about, uh, about the thing whose name I forgot, the, the mold. Shuckle. But that's like, but that's like min-max. There, there are other Pokemon with high defense. Avalug, oh, that's a good one. Well, rock types obviously have high defense, but uh, I'm thinking of any that would get stabbed from a fighting move as well. Hariyama is more special defense than physical defense. Oh, ah, I walked into a balloon. It's gonna carry me off and I'll never be seen again. Eh, I'm good. Never grab strange balloons, kids. Alright, yep, heal my mom. I gotta get my coffee. Off to the lake. Where am I going? Oh, there's electrodes in this field. There's, I guess, evolved... mash shifts, or whatever they're called? This is where I'm going, this lake up here. I'm underleveled. But, uh, hopefully, we can make it work anyway. Maybe if I bring all my heavy hitters, we can take down the final Titan and apparently unlock some mobility items. I know this thing. I know Char Cadet evolves with version-exclusive items. I don't know where I get those items. 
Is that something that I'm not going to get until, like, uh, Area Zero? The evolution item for Charcadet? Wow, there's a lot of them here. Look at these little guys. Let's see what this terror rate is. It's a one-star Lechonk. I'm good. No thanks. <laughs> I don't need a one-star fire Lechonk. Summons a snowstorm lasting five turns. Okay. That's a new move? So, wait, hail... Did they... Does the move hail does not exist anymore? Did they rename it? I figured they would just, like, replace the effect of hail is what they would do. But no, it's it's a whole new move now. Some prime apes. Until you do a lot of gyms, the raids don't level up. Yeah, the most I've seen so far is uh, three stars. Snowscape is now hail. Okay. I don't think they've ever renamed a move before. And there's a lot of them that they probably should have renamed by now, but they just... No, a lot of the uh, weird Gen 1 translation shenanigans are just, they're with us forever. They're still gonna call Splash Splash, even though it was supposed to be something like Bounce. They've just been grandfathered in with their stupid quote-unquote mistranslations. Uh-oh. No, I don't want to fight you, pig. So, what level does, uh, does Mousehold learn the 10-hit move? I don't want to fight things. I'm going to a Titan. I don't know if there will be a place to heal between now and then. I could set up a picnic, I guess. I feel like Spyro doing his glides. You got lucky all those Glimmit have self-destruct. I see. Oh, there's Krogunks here. So we're at the lake now. I caught a Scyther here earlier, and that it was like a level 45 Scyther. So things are of substantial level in this area. Wait, I'm sorry, there's Wild Vaporeon just walking around? You know, let me tell you a thing about Vaporeon. In terms of... Oh, there's a watchtower. Level 53? Ugh. Alright, so I'm gonna have to, uh... I'm gonna have to actually put in work with the mouse until then. Haluchas wandering around. Let me see what, uh... Well, since that being the case, let me see what, uh, what TMs I can have that would be useful on the mouse. I say, and then continue picking up garbage on the ground. There's so much of it, though. There's so much stuff on the ground in this game. Alright, yes, the false dragon titan is somewhere here. Not a single person's ever caught a glimpse of it. What? Then how do you know it's here? What? Would be handy if you just ran around crying. Right? Yeah. Another I don't like low kicks. It's a fine Pokemon, but in the wild, they're, they're, they keep chasing me down. They're very aggro Pokemon. Uh, bag. What TMs can I teach my mice? Agility. Mud Slap. Lowering accuracy is useful.
Why can it learn so many grass moves? What is this weird, like, grass-themed mouse? Also, it's kind of weird that it can't learn fling. That seems like something it would be able to learn. We could do the uh, rest sleep talk combo. Crunch. It's an attack move. It's a field mouse. Boo. Giga Impact Mouse! I could do that. You know what? Yeah. Fuck it. I'm, I'm not gonna use Giga Impact for anything else ever. Let me just use it as, like, an ultimate move on my fucking family dog pile. See if Mud Slap is worth it. The one nice thing about Unagi, the eel, was uh, having an Alore accuracy move. Uh, Super Fang, play rough. I don't really want to get rid of Tidy Up. I could relearn it in the future if I wanted to. Raise attack and speed. Am I ever really going to need to buff this thing, though? Did the children stay for ditto times? Don't, 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 we don't need to think about that. Let us not question how this Pokemon is born from an egg already existing in a pair. A pair which itself later fucks and produces children. This is, this is one of those Pokemon that the Pokemon company doesn't want you to think about. I'm also not sure if I want to keep Super Fang. I kind of just like having big hitting moves. It's just, that's just kind of better for the single player Pokemon campaign. Oh, it's half a target. I, I could, like, have the 1 2 Super Fang into Giga Impact. Do I want, do I want Crunch? How, how badly do I want Crunch? I'll, I'll relearn Tidy Up in the future, if I so choose. I've also already got, like... I've got Dark-type coverage out the wazoo, so... No reason to ever not open with fake out. I'm sorry, is it 90 now? No, I, never mind, I got confused. Only really use Spore if, uh... If Stun Spore doesn't work for some reason. The cat is already up to level 28. I'm assuming this works like the previous several gens EXP shares have. Where uh, it just it creates EXP out of nowhere. I'm sorry. What are you? It's a landfish. Katsugiri. Come on, get powdered.
It has mirror code. You know what Pokemon's never done? A branching prevolution. Like two different Pokemon could evolve into the same final Pokemon. There's not a whole lot of reason for them to do that, but they could. Be something new. The sushi Pokemon. Is that really its motif? It only wants to use Mirror Coat. Like a, like a shittier Wobbuffet. Is Wobbuffet still banned? Has anything changed with him? A mimicry Pokemon. Dragon Water. This species differing colors and patterns are apparently the result of Tatsugiri changing itself to suit the preferences of the prey it lures in. Is this the pseudo? Th this isn't the pseudo legendary, is it? It's a dragon. We haven't had, we surprisingly haven't had a lot of dragon waters. There was Kingdra, and that was pretty much it. Wobbuffet isn't even in this game. Droopy form. There's, it has multiple forms. Three seventy-five. No, it is not the pseudo legendary. I can tell because it does not have two entries after it. Also, Palkia. Oh, that's true. Palkia is a water dragon. So what is? What? What's? So it doesn't evolve. What? is its form thing going on? Does it learn a move that lets it change forms? When the Pokemon enters a battle, it goes inside the mouth of an ally Dodonzo if one is on the field. Okay. So it's specifically a doubles Pokemon that can only operate with one specific partner? That's stupid. What a stupid Pokemon. Wow, Scyther's big! Is Scyther bigger than Charizard? Has that always been the case? The never ending story. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm falling. I'm falling. Speaking of Avalug. Oh, hello. Uh, whale. And... Okay. that That's the Pokemon that slices off pieces of itself. I probably shouldn't be leading with Mousehold. In, uh, in this environment. What is this? This is a water psychic type. I don't have anything that can swap into that very well. Let me, uh, let me, let me put my mushroom in front. Oh, the whale went away! Whale. Whale. Come up. Yes, whale. Is this so obvious? It must. This must be an evolved form of something, right? Do, do, oh, this is this is the thing that the other thing crawls into. Hot. It has three forms swimming around, which which change its flavor. It's a sushi chef whale. What what even is Pokemon anymore? Again, punching way above weight class, but it's a new mon. I kind of want to catch it. It's throwing sushi at me.
Maybe I should have sported. it. Maybe it maybe I was maybe I was overconfident to think I could take it like one on one. Come on, be paralyzed. Fail to attack. Aquatel, maybe it won't kill. It it killed. And these are just the wild Pokemon. I'm going up to fight a Titan. I say that. Titans have been kind of pushovers. They haven't been that big a deal so far. By far, the biggest struggle on stream has been the fire car. Steel is not very effective against water. How strong is Play Rough gonna be? Not very. Uh oh. Okay, well, that will also be not very effective because steel. Holding a steel hammer apparently makes it its body hard as steel. Okay, this is. What, how much is this? 160 plus stab, that would be 240. So if it's half power, 120. That's still better. Well, no, play rough would be stronger. Slightly. Let me give it another play rough, and then I'll try to catch it. Beating another Titan, I have been told, will unlock a lot of mobility for me. Beating more gyms would make Pokemon easier to catch. Oh! The, the, the rain came down and the frames dried up. Oh, it's chugging. I could probably get away with one more, but I don't want to risk it. Why is it... It's, it's like, par paralysis animation is happening way in the back of it, not like its face. There we go. Give, give me my sushi whale. Mouse does have super fang. I could have... Well, yeah, it would have been faster than the whale. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe that is, like, a strat to use against the Titan. Alright, who... Hyper Voice. You're not a special attacker, so no, I don't want Hyper Voice. What are you doing? Get out of here. Air Slash. Uh, Duck is not a special attacker. No, I don't want Air Slash. This Pokemon is a glutton, but it's bad at getting food. It teams up with a Tatsugiri to catch prey. Okay, how does that help it? Also, it's 40 feet long. I'm kind of surprised the sushi chef, the, the Kofu, didn't have one of these guys. It would seem like a very fitting Pokemon for him. I, I got a picnic. I, I got to heal up. Is this too slanted, I wonder? Go back back up where? What? What? Why not? No, let me picnic. What? It 
I'm sorry, is this a town? This one is not catchable, it just, it talks. Um, no, it is? I'm so confused. I guess I'm catching another Tatsu... Tat... 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 Tatsu... The... 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 Spin kick. Oh, that's super effective. Whoops. Uh, it's... It's fine. Because it's a dragon, apparently. So there's red, there's yellow, and I'm guessing there's a blue one. I don't think I went up the tower, the watchtower that I found. Stretchy form. Okay. Is that the third one? Orange. Red, orange, yellow? Let's do it. Let's get all three. I don't know how lucky I was to find them all, like, in a row like that. They were apparently static encounters, so maybe it's not lucky at all. Oh no! Did it just kill itself? You little shit! I was gonna catch you! Oh, there's more. I guess. Uh... I come back. I don't think it'll go anywhere. I'll just, uh, I'll heal up, I'll come to the watchtower. And I'll fly from there. One close to the water starts the boss fight. Is the Titan Poke the Titan Pokemon is a dragon type? It's not a giant Tatsugiri, is it? Boy, that'd be weird. Here's here's something unrelated. Just while I'm thinking about it, it says there's electrode around here. Y'all got any electrodes? Electrode. I'm really curious what happens if a Voltorb or Electrode just, like, explodes on me. Probably nothing, but maybe something funny. You know what? I can deal with Wobbuffet not being in the game. Where's my dude Smurgle? Give me Smurgle. I failed to find an electrode. Oh well. There's Pineco around here? Uh, I was told that this game doesn't have any kind of, like, battle tower or battle tree or anything like that in it. However, it does have, uh... It has, like, a ladder system to its online multiplayer. Which is a first for the series. Have you been doing any online multiplayer, Gleam? Or like, specifically online battling, I should say. What are you? 
Brave bird? I'll take it! That's a nice thing to find. I don't have- I don't have any flying types, do I? I don't. Oh, Sword and Shield also had ranking. I don't think I have- I'm, I haven't been training any flying types. Might be a good type to have. Oh, my duck can learn it. All right, back we go. I guess they don't want you gliding too far if they included the uh, the mechanic where you start going, like, you start nose diving after a little while. Maybe that won't be the case after my final mobility upgrade. Is a Terra type turtle. Dreadnaw, that's what it's called. The one closest to the water starts the uh starts the fight. Okay. I assume it's that like that one in the middle there. Let's try this one. This time I will use Spore on it, so the little little turd can't kill itself. Yeah, I guess there's just uh, these little sushi fish just hang out on uh, hang out on land all over this island. They don't seem like they're rare at all. I guess that's refreshing. It's nice not having a uh, one in one hundredth chance form to have to worry about. No, on the edge of the cliff you passed up. The critical catch function is nice. It, it finally pays to, like, have a lot of Pokemon. This is a small dragon Pokemon. It lives inside the mouth of Dodonzo to protect itself from enemies on the outside. Alright, well I got all three forms. That's nice. That's lovely. Edge of the cliff. The pointer is pointing to this one. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean by cliff. Uh, well, let me put mouse hold in front because uh, that does opening a Titan battle with Super Fang does seem like a good idea. No. I can't escape. Is this the Titan battle? Oh, Super Fang missed. Why? I don't know why else I wouldn't be able to run away. Well, it killed itself. So, no, that can't be the Titan. Floragato wants to learn Slash. I, I think I'm good. I don't think I need Slash. Nah. Hmm. Are you a titan? No. The cliff that I passed up. Way over there? 
The one next to the watchtower? I did, what I don't understand is why the icon is... Okay. So the icon is not the exact location of the Titan. It's, uh, it's just like the general vicinity. The Titan is somewhere around the lake. I guess I'll, I'll have to explore a little bit. Okay, see you later, Gleam. That one? I, I don't know what that one means. I'll, I'll look around. Some slow pokes. Some icebergs. Well, it's a lovely day to go titan hunting. Oh, there's a Dratini. I want that. You were standing next to it before gliding. Okay, so yes, the one that the watchtower was on. Maybe half will be enough. Maybe Super Fang is a good Pokemon catching move. Super Fang and Super Sonic were like all we had in Gen 1. A level 51 Dratini. That's going to take no time at all to get to Dragon... Level 52. It's, it's three levels away from Dragonite. Ow! Oh! Well, if it has a chance to recover anyway, I might as well use sleep. Except now I'm dead, so... Uh, mouse hold, play rough. Please do not kill. It killed. I, sh I should have done another Super Fang. Well, I know where Dratini is now, so that's nice. I guess I can look for another one real quick. Oh, well, that wasn't hard. Well, yeah, that's a Dratini. How about from full health? Okay, it does slightly over half. Frames. But what does it look like from the Dratini's perspective? Let's get Gen 1 in the, on this. Household is already proving pretty useful, even at like this in this underleveled state. Sheds many layers of skin as it grows larger. During this process, it is protected by a rapid waterfall. Like that's where it chooses to live, right? It's not like generate. I, I, that's what a confusing Pokedex entry. Also, five eleven. It's weird to think that uh, Dratini is as big as your average adult male human. Get item. Pick up. What are these floating? Yeah, there's just Dratinis all over the place. Aren't these things supposed to be, like, legendary? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna leave. I don't want to fight filet fish over here.
Okay, there's the cliff. Alright, so I'll heal up, I'll go to the watchtower, I'll look for the titan from there. I'm still missing the white... Uh, the, 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 the rock of the, the cock and rock a doodle do with the whatever the rockabilly squawkabilly that's what it's called I don't like that I have to, like, adjust the map to make it north upward, but I'm glad that I'm able to with a single button press. Alright, you. Have you seen a Titan Pokemon? I hear it's, like, ten feet away from you. Are you a Titan Pokemon? No, you're not. There's a bunch of skunks hanging out on this cliff. Titan. Hello? I was standing next to it before gliding. Well, that's where I glided from. It was up there. Unless he meant on the island. Which would also, in theory, make sense, given that the icon is on the island. Just grabbing feathers off the water. It's not weird. I don't like how many of these these fast fish are out on the water. I don't want to be dealing with them. In fact, is my mouse hold's not holding anything. Do I have a smoke ball? Because, boy, that would help. I don't have a smoke ball. I should have bought one. What else do I have that it... That it that could be useful. Eventually it's going to be holding the wide lens, but that's that'll be after it learns its its special move. I could uh I don't remember which of the Deli Bird stores has the has the smoke ball though. Okay. So if he meant before I glided from here... I was like, right here, but... He also said something about a cliff. Is this a cliff? Does this count? Are you the Titan Pokemon? It's, it's saying Titan. Really? That's the giveaway? You, you go through the ones that say sushi? And you have to find the one that, act, that says Titan. Silly me, I thought it would be big. <laughs> that, was a, that was a very slow reaction time. False dragon. So it, it's... It itself is not a dragon. I 
I'm guessing in its second form, it will be controlled by the, the little one that actually is a dragon. I actually don't have anything good against water. I no longer have a grass move on Breloom. I'll put it to sleep, I guess. That'll be something. Well, that didn't do very much. My fire crocodile will not be, uh, will not be helpful here. Nor will my dolphin. Do I still have my dolphin? I think I swapped out the dolphin. I had the I had the bear. I had Pawmot. Come on, hit. You can do it. Hit spore. Yes. Man, if only steel wasn't not very effective against water for some mysterious reason. Is it because of, like, slimes in RPGs? Like, you can't slice water with a sword? Some of these, these type-effective interactions are very arbitrary and confusing. Uh, which, by the way, I, th I think I mentioned this during the, uh, the gold-silver beta, is that the type chart in that was very different. Steel was weak to both water and electric, because, you know, rust and steel conducts electricity, because those, those make sense. I always felt like that should have been the case, but apparently it made too much sense because they, they changed it in the final version for uh, balance purposes. Why does it not want to let me host a picnic on this island? What An island is a wonderful place for a picnic. Okay, it went over there. Have to heal up again. If it does become a dragon type, if, if it gets taken over by the little, the sushi thing, then uh, it will at least, it'll be vulnerable to fairy after that. And I've got, a, I've got two fairy attackers, so that will be, that will be helpful. I also got a, uh, I got a convenient fly location to that spot. All right, final Titan. I can do it. I can take him. Hey, you little fish. No, the little one is going to eat the thing, and it's going to get big. Was it even really a dragon? No, it wasn't before, but now! 
Now that it's piloted by a dragon. Now it will become dragon. Much like how if you're holding a metal hammer, you become metal. It's just the way that the Pokemon universe works. Is it really still not a dragon type? What the... Okay, so I thought that between... The, uh... Between the eight gyms, the five titans and the five bases, all 18 types were covered. But if this thing is not, in fact, dragon type, then that would not be the case. Also, it seems like, uh... It seems like maybe Super Fang was nerfed for the case of Titans. They did not allow it to take half of its health. Would it be worth a Giga Impact at this point? Maybe I should just go for it. I could, you know what? I'll even terrestrialize for extra extra effect. Let's do it. Family tackle. I just gotta not hurt myself with confusion. Come on, come on, Giga Impact, please. Yes. Family tackle! Oh, that didn't do that didn't do enough. I thought that'd do way more. It got the I can't believe it got the kids. Alright, uh, do I have any priority moves? I don't. I, I guess I'll put Junior out and hope he doesn't die. He'll get a little e extra EXP. In fact, you know what? I care more about uh, Mouse getting the EXP. Let me revive it. I'll, I'm gonna waste one of my 18 revives on this. It attacks the Greedent. Alright, good job, Greedent. Oh! It avoided the attack. Well, it's not going to avoid this. I guess technically it did avoid it. Alright, that works. Arvin is such a useful ally. I want, we haven't really seen any doubles trainers. Like, this is the only time that we do doubles stuff, is, is when you're with Arvin. Alright, finally. The final Herba Mystica. Oh, wait, never mind. Sorry, that was too easy. We have a three-stage Titan battle. Is my whole party healed? Because that, that'd be nice. Yeah, okay, it reset everything. It even recharged my uh, my Terra Crystal. That's just, that's lovely. Oh, okay, that's, you're gonna limit... It limited my, my Super Fang to that. It's still a, a little bit scummy to call it the dragon one, and then all, two of the three phases are not dragon type. I granted it's the false dragon, but still. I, I, I fake out first. Always fake out first. Especially in a double battle. Gives Greedent one more move to use.
Was Super Fang that problematic that they had, they had to limit it for Titan battles? Come on, give me the cheese. Uh-oh. Alright, green, finish it. It looks like a creature from a different franchise. I don't know why Tinka Tinkaton doesn't look like a Pokemon. Good pass for a Digimon. Alright, we did it. The final Titan. It's like some kind of combo meal. Yeah. Little one came out of here, which means should be some Urban Mystica inside. Did we save the dog? We have to wrap up the dog story. This is very important. Which one is this? We already got sour. Is this the sweet one? Oh, the spicy one. We're making extra spicy sandwich. Boosts your metabolism. Gives you cir circulation a boost. Helps flush out all those toxins. I, I, do you think Arvin is into holistic medicine? He seems like the type. the final Santa. Squeeze this badge tight and cry beautiful tears of friendship. Fuck. the spicy sandwich. What if it hates it? It's like giving a dog spicy food just to mess with it. Awful. Now it can climb up vertical surfaces. Okay. I thought maybe it would get... I thought maybe it would unlock the ability to just outright fly, but... No, that's still pretty good. I wish I could glide indefinitely. I wish I didn't have that nosedive to deal with. So far, among these, like, vast games... Dragon Quest Builders 2 is the only one to just give you a... F pretty early game, f pretty free flight mechanic. Well, glide, but still. Everything's gonna be alright. You're gonna survive. Say those fucking words. And then the dog dies anyway. This is actually a uh, this is actually a story about Arvin learning to cope and let go. No, we can't do that. This is a children's game. Death isn't real. Yeah? Did we die? Oh, there we go. A boss stiff. You did your best. But then it's actually just fine. It actually worked. The dogs made a recovery. It's gonna perk up, it's gonna grab that ball. It's a happy dog now. Is 
the feel-good film of the summer. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm ruining a... I, I guess it's a sweet moment. It's a very predictable moment in a children's game. Like, we knew we knew this was where it was going. But uh, he gets to live with his ha his dog now. They're happy again. Good, good for Arvin. Alright, Cave Lady. What have you got for us? Oh, that's right. We've been contacted, like, outside the cave before this. He doesn't know we've been talking to her. Seems that Crydon has regained all of its powers except for power to battle. Should now be able to climb up any vertical surfaces it grabs on while you're riding on it. Press the B button to jump while facing a wall. I have unlocked Knuckle. Oh, he doesn't- he doesn't like... Who I assume is his mother, either. Arvin just doesn't really get along with anybody. I've been searching so long for a way to reach you. No one else can get into my lab but you. What, has she lost her keys? Alright, we have to go back to the lighthouse, the, to the lab on Poco Path. Alright, well, we've completed one of the three routes of this game. Yes, you probably already know. That's, uh, that's me mum. Always buried under her work, off pursuing her own research. Never at home with me. That's the first time I've he even heard her voice in years. Now what? The first thing I get is to be treated like some kind of errand boy? Unbelievable. Yeah, I, I guess. I don't know. I don't care. You, you got a, you kind of, you got a lot of problems, Arvin. I, I get, I get you're pent up, but I don't. Your life doesn't seem that bad. Your dog just got better. You should be in a great mood, even with your like weird caveman mom. That was a slow bro. Alright. Well, that's something that we were a little under-leveled for, but we got it done. Poco Path. That was... like the That was like the very start of the game, yeah. Yeah. Make sure I don't need to heal up real quick. And I'll see what, uh, what Cave Lady wants of me. It seems like the Team Star stuff is the least rewarding of the three. Between mobility options and, uh... Being able to catch more Pokémon. Those, those two seem like better rewards than having more TMs in the TM machine. Especially since it doesn't seem to give us a ton. I only got, like, one or two extra TMs from that Team Poison thing. Now, I wonder if this, will, this like, story route will actually lead to, like, the Pokémon League or some kind of conclusive ending or end credits. If I'll be able to get to Area Zero after this, or if I still have to do, like, the gym challenge and everything. Like, the, the game's advertisements boasted that there were multiple ways to play the game and not just do the gym challenge, but... 
I, my question is, is, is the gym challenge optional, or is it still required to, like, get the ending? Where are you? Oh, it's the, the string bug. Wait, there's a house in the lighthouse? I never noticed this door before. This is the lab. Used to come and play all the time when I was a kid. That'd be a good reason for calling us here like this. Let's find out, yeah? Everyone always says she's some kind of genius, absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My mom, that is. As a parent, she's the worst. I don't know. I've known some pretty bad parents. You have, have you ever watched Baki? I don't have a single memory of her even, ever even playing with me. Her own kid. A boss stiff's the only one who was there for me. Just gonna, you're gonna wait out here. No, you're coming in too. Tights? The old abandoned lab trope. I've seen footage of this corner of the room. I need your help. I'm currently at the deepest point of Area Zero, in the Great Crater of Paldea. Been researching the unique Pokémon here for a very long time, asking the two of you to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Sada's glorious research. Okay, tone it down a little bit. Great Professor Sada. There is something we need first, something that can be found within that lab. We need the Scarlet Book. Ugh. So you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? This expedites things. Bring the book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. It will be an experience worth treasuring. All right. Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security si cybernetic security systems. Okay. Gather some reliable allies when you come. I'm I'm sorry. We have to do like a, a raid. Like we have to amass an army to go to this place. Also, we're, we're not, like, allowed to go there as students. We're breaking... Is the professor encouraging us to break school rules? We, can we get, like, permission first? I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Uh, you gonna go? Uh, there's treasure afoot! What a random hot-button word to be throughout this game, is treasure. Can't just stand by and watch while a friend heads off into the danger all on her own. Yeah, alright. We're gonna have a Pokemon bet- oh, you and me? Oh, so you see if I'm ready or not. I know you're ready. Alright. 
We'll have a total of two battles with Arvin, un unlike the, like, ten battles that we've had with Nimona. I wonder if there's anything still in the fridge. They might have opened it and find, like, some lobster goo has come to life. Mousehold is already almost up to the rest of my party. That's nice. Also, Spriga, the, the, the cat, is about to evolve. I guess they've stopped doing the uh, grass starter evolves early thing. I don't remember when they stopped that. I guess they haven't really done it since Gen 3, I don't think. Don't make me- you're not gonna fight with my boss stiff, are you? Like, that is recovered, but... Oh, you, you are gonna- he's ready to fight? Oh, yeah, I- it's- I- good question. Okay, yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. He's bursting with energy! Never know he was so weak just a little while ago. Well, leave me alone, always whining, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. Been so long, I knew I nearly forgot. Okay. Even if we always lost to that student council, she has a name. Come on. You know her. It's Goku. Brand new Arvin in my boss stiff. We're feeling audacious, bold, experimental. All right, Arvin battle number two. I guess he's just uh, he's just a normal type. Well, no, my, my boss stiff is dark type, so he's got a variety. Greedent is the glutton Pokemon. Is he just like uh, a whole team of food-themed Pokemon? Also, holy shit, Arvin, where were you? Were your Pokemon always this strong? Level 58? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to come back to this. Rip Mousehold. Oh no, it's still alive for now. Let me give it a few mud slaps. Mousehold is going to die. I didn't. I don't know why. I didn't expect the final boss of the Arvin route to be Arvin. He just. He always seemed like such a nice, like a, kind of a pushover. Uh, it, 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 Breloom. Drain. Drain the squirrel. Thank God trainers have no AI. This idiot has a, has a Greedent with uh, two accuracy stages down and sleeping, and he's not going to swap it out. Just punch it to death. Keep going. Don't stop. It has psychic- why does it have psychic fangs? What? Yeah, this isn't, uh, this isn't gonna go well. Also, trainers don't seem to use healing items in this game. That's nice. I appreciate that. All right, one out of six down. Not only is it level 58, he's got a full team of six. Scovillain. Uh, I know it's grass type. Is it grass fire? I don't know what it is. It's a pepper. It's a two-headed pepper. Hammer. Hammer time. 
It, it has fire. Oh, I avoided it. Great. Excellent. Wait, no. It's, if it's fire type, then steel's gonna be not very effective. Man! Fairy is also gonna be not very effective. Well, that's not great. I'll have to, uh... Well, if I terrestrialize, then the fire won't be super effective against me either. I was prepared for the final Titan. I wasn't prepared for the final Arvin. What a dumb logo for the Dark Titan. It's a mean looking face, really. I know in Japan it's the evil type. I've just I've accepted that I'm gonna lose this. I, I can't I can't beat level 66 Pokemon Arvin. I'll, I'll come back. It's fire type. If I can go first, then uh, I'll bet Stone Edge would take it out. It's just... Is is my... Is my rock going to be faster? I, no, I didn't think it would be. Rip rock. 80 power, special grass move, four times effectiveness. Get him, cat! So it is. It is a, a full, like, food-themed team he's got going on. Do I have any moves that would be helpful? Not really. Just attack moves. He's pure water type, so, uh... Down to energy ball. This was a farce. Yeah, uh, Arvin, I think you're ready for Area Zero. I I might not be. Just uh, wait here. I'll be back. Maybe in like a week. So uh, onward to other t to other challenges to greener pastures. Got some new Pokedex entries. Silver linings. So there's that. Where else can I go? I can go up to the ice area. Oh, the, the, the river... Well, I'm sorry. The, the icy area is the spring? It seems like the river is going down to... out to sea. Unless maybe the origin is somewhere up here and it goes in two directions. So that's the final. The fighting crew is the strongest, uh, strongest base. There's two gyms near here. And the, the ferry crew is all the way out there, so. I guess I should head here from... Where would be a good place to start? Not the passage. I don't know if I can get through from this. Well, you know what? Yeah, I can now, because I have I have wall climbing ability. Thanks to the fact that I did that challenge, and the world is my oyster. I can just beeline anywhere I want. In fact, I'm gonna go to the cave one. I'm gonna fly to the bottom of a giant hole, and I'm gonna climb straight out. I just healed. I don't need to do this. Where am I going? I'm going over here. So I wonder where this path goes then. Is that a 
几米。Get a free ice stone. No. Oh, I don't want to. I wasn't trying to fight. Be gone, Metacham. You're going to play rough. Why is there a. Uh, there's a hole here. I can't dive, can I? I've un I have unlocked all the mobility options. All right, final form of cat. I've seen it. I haven't gotten like a good look at it. Yep. Meow Scarada. Like, like Masquerade? Magician Pokemon. This Pokemon uses the reflective fur lining its cape to camouflage the stem of its flower, creating the illusion that the flower is floating. Okay. I mean, grass type, grass dark is a neat type combination, and this is apparently a very good move. Never misses and always crits. So uh, definitely better than seed bomb. Actually, that all because it never misses, it also makes magical leaf obsolete. It's a good grass move, but I've already got like uh, I got dark covered on the team. What else can I... Where is the... Maybe I'll re-add the... Uh, maybe I'll re-add the engine. Again, I'm curious how its evolved forms mechanics work. Where is it? There it is. There's Varum. Oh. Silly me, I thought I could dive. No, it's just a... Uh, it's just a puddle. No, I don't need to fight you, Snorunt. I'm gonna climb out of this hole. No, other way. Thank you. How get down? There we go. That was an interesting camera angle. Can I can I repeat that? I, I want to see my trainer like hugging nothing. Uh, the pyroar. No, it, it's gonna it, it's gonna make her disappear as soon as the camera is that close. Darn. All right, well uh, up we go. How high are the Pokemon around here? There's a Bronzong. There's a Frostlass. Yeah. Yeah. Full force blast of water. Probably pretty, pretty strong water move. I'm gonna guess special. Oh, it's a spirit to him. Hello. Y'all just, uh, y'all hang out around here? <laughs> Look at it thrust its face towards me. Is there only one? Or are they just, uh... I feel like I should catch it because I don't know how rare spirit to him are. Usually they're they're pretty rare. You don't see them very often. Oh, it's gonna be like level sixty or something, though, isn't it? 
Uh, 49. It's high, but that's not too high. I also don't have anything that can hit it. Maybe that's a problem with my, my catcher Pokemon. Oh! It has Memento! I mean, it's nice that it doesn't damage me, but... Man, I'm sick of the Pokemon I'm trying to catch having a self-destruct equivalent. Heavy Slam. Alright, good to have. Alright, well, I'll, I'll hope that... Uh, hopefully I can find another Spiritomb here later. It's chilly, isn't it? Bronzong just uh, looking out over the town, thinking about stuff. Where am I going? I'm facing the wrong way, aren't I? Where is that? I can't tell what I'm looking at. What is that noise? Have I not been there? Well, I kind of want to fly down and see where that those two Pokemon centers. Is it Zappa Zappa Pico? I guess I guess it is. Wow, that looks way farther on the map than it does from here. Pokemon up here that I'm probably not going to challenge, but I'll see what it is. It's an electric Terra type. It is. Oh, it's a it's a raid battle. It is an electric Capsicid. Grab me a modest mint. No, I don't need to fight Snom. Get out of here, Snom. I need to get up the highest peak. Top of the mountain. It's hard to tell when something is shiny or just in the shade, because the shading in this game changes a Pokémon's color so much. Alright, <laughs> appropriate place to find Fly, I suppose. Oh. Boy, there is really just, uh... There's like, not a walking path up to this town. Well, there's the location of whatever challenge I'll be doing for the gym, I suppose. Is that all that's here? Is just the gym? No, there's a Pokemon Center just up the hill. Hill. A cliff, more like. Y'all really... Haven't you people heard of buildings? They're not even wearing winter clothing. She's got, like, short sleeves on. Man, Paldian folk are built different. I've, I've defeated three trainers on the mountain, apparently. I need to defeat ten? That's the highest number that I've been given from one of these guys so far. All right, how high is the ice gym? 
Let's see what this is like. The Psychic Gym, I was told, was like level 50 or so. Which, I'm in the low 40s right now. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I'm trying to find a way to beat Arvin. He's my greatest rival. Many students choose to make the gym circuit a part of their treasure hunt. It's no easy feat, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. Something, something, grow, learn, friendship, Pokemon. Gotta ma I, I'm here to make sure you know your homeroom teacher's got your back. Alright, lucky egg. That's a nice item to have. I'll give that to someone right now. Lucky egg. Give to Vroom. Who do I want to use for the, the ice place? Probably Amy. Amy and Junior. I also can rename my mouse. I can rename it once. I'm sorry, did you say the leader was named Grusha? That's an unfortunate name to give your child. Take on the Snow Slope Run. Uh... Is this the spot? No, this is where the battle happens. All these... it's well, the, the gyms in Paldia are weird. They've got these huge, tall buildings, but... It's just a reception office. The, the battle itself always takes place outside. Except in that one town where it took place inside a restaurant where they were uh, able to magically remove several dining customers from their tables to accommodate. All right, let us try the snow slope run. Your task is to ride a Pokemon all the way down this course. It's like a slippery, slidey nature trail. Okay. So we it's the it's the Mario 64 ice slide, is what it is. Uh, you better hope that you have a Pokemon you're able to ride for this. What if I just have like 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 Pichu and Roselia? Hey, do you want me to ride my Roselia down the slope? What if I've only got a magic harp? <laughs> look look at it go. It, it vroom. It looks it's like Bowser's run in melee and brawl. It definitely is slippery. Also, all of the items are a not collectible while on the challenge. What a pathetic record. Who took a minute and 30 to do that? That was some of the best you've ever seen, really. The ace. Unable to do no wrong. How well do you think Ash Ketchum would have done at that challenge?
All right. Let's see how bad the gym leader is. Let's uh, let's fight Grusha. About to enter a cold war. The Sub-Zero Shredder. Now those are two different ninja characters. What one's in Mortal Kombat and one's in Ninja Turtles. Are you the gym leader? That's that's what she's thinking, isn't it? That's the joke. Why are you the one who's cold? You look like you should be the least cold person here. I'm in shorts. Your skills, yeah, they look pretty cool. Don't let that go to your head. And she's so cool. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. What is this existential dread she's exuding? To this happy gym music in a happy Pokemon game. You ever think how many people die on these mountains? They say Articuno kill people up there just for fun. Gym leader is... Oh, that's a dude? Okay, yeah, sure. Are you, are you on break, Gleam? Dude's got lashes. And fabulous hair. Alright, Grusha. Give me what you got. Fortunately, it did not take me too long to find the Titan after you left. I was not wandering around for, like, an hour. Alright, level 47. So this... Wait, I'm sorry, it can't... Okay, it must have an ability that keeps it from flinching. Inner Focus is the one that uh, the Zubat family has. I don't think Frostmoth has that, though. Flatter. No, I don't I don't think I need Flatter. What else do I have on this? Uh... Nah, I'm good. Bear Tick. Alright. Uh... Send out Junior. Junior can handle it. So I'm guessing... This seems to be the gym just before the Psychic Gym. I wonder how the Poison Gym ranks. No, it's not Poison, is it? There's a gym just north of here. I have to see what, uh, what type that is. Ow! Oh, that hurt. Junior does not got this. I guess I'll try the I'll try the hammer again. Boy, uh, having a type that is defensively useful against ice really helps here. I'm still fighting. Uh oh. Oh, it's got earthquake. Hmm. Oh, it had Tailwind. That's why it keeps going before me. All right, let me let me try Spore. My Breloom is faster than the Polar Bear. Now, do I want to Drain Punch or do I want to? It's got Ice moves. It's gonna it's gonna wipe out Breloom. Oh, it's Ghost. Uh, is the Ghost Gym? Is that the strongest? Is the Ghost Gym stronger or weaker than the Psychic Gym?
Uh, yeah, the fairy has been coming in handy. I would like Junior to get some EXP. And here comes Icicle Crash to just destroy Brelum. Yeah. On par. Alright. Psychic should be the strongest. Well, maybe my fairy will now be fast enough to, uh... Not get annihilated by Earthquake. Oh, can I fake out now that I'm coming out for the first time again? Yes, I can. Get a little extra chip damage in. Yes! The problem with relying on, uh, on Tinkaton is that I can't use that steel move twice in a row. Poison jab. But uh, the engine can learn a jab? All right. Uh, I don't need headbutt. Sea Titan. I don't know what that is. Get a mouse. Oh, okay. It's the evolution of the, the toddle thing. Do I, should I even attempt to fight this thing with the mouse, or should I just... Maybe I should just uh, cut my losses and use a revive. I think I'm going to do that. Now, what do I want to... Re I, you know what? Instead of reviving, I could also uh, heal. I think heal 70. Lemonade heal 70. Have some lemonade, Tinkaton. Ice Spinner. That didn't kill. I, I would like to use Junior, but it... it it's just gonna get one-shotted by anything that any ice moves they have. I'll get a Super Fang off at least. Cut half its health. Rest in peace, mouse hold. That is, that's quite a cry it's got. All right, Gigaton. I could have, fa I could fake out, but I, I don't need to here. Altaria. Okay. Well, that's obviously going to, uh, obviously going to terrestrialize that. If I use an item or something, I wonder if that will refresh. I'll bet it won't refresh Gigaton Hammer. It's also, what's... It's probably, probably has a dragon move that will be, uh... Probably has a dragon move that will be neutral against me. It's gonna lose... She's gonna lose, a. Uh, Gonna lose stab from the terrestrialization. Oh, flying hurricane. Okay, well, that also loses stab. I it probably would have done well against me had it not terrestrialized. It's kind of a shortcoming that uh, G 
gym leaders have a mandatory terrestrialization for the final Pokemon. Alright, GG. Just gains an extra stab, no losses, but it... Okay. So even though it is... When it terrestrializes, it becomes pure ice type. It still gains stab from its previous types. Oh, a duck is evolving. It's extremely flamboyant. Qua Quavel. Qua Cavel? Festival. A single kick from a Quacavel can send a truck rolling. This Pokemon uses its powerful legs to perform striking dances from far off lands. It, that's it. It can send a truck rolling? A Rhydon is unevolved and it like demolishes skyscrapers with its attacks. Well, we have all of our fully evolved starters. The uh, crocodile definitely looks the stupidest. All right, Aqua Step. I believe this increases the user's speed. Yeah. It's a pretty good effect. All three signature moves are, uh, are useful. Yeah, I'm very, very burning passionate. You're not, I guess. You want a photo together? That's so... uncool. What a dour gym leader. I think Larry was happier than, than, uh, than Grusha. Alright, I should be able to catch Pokémon of up to level 50 more easily. Okay. So it doesn't hard bar you from catching Pokemon above your above your weight class. It just makes it more difficult. All right, what is Ice Spinner? Covers its feet in thin ice and twirls around, slamming into the target. Also destroys the terrain. Okay. An in, in, interesting move. I didn't think terrain was that uh, significant of a mechanic. Ones you catch of higher level just don't listen to you. Oh, is that how it works? I see. I get the picture. Alright, now, are we gonna meet Nimone? No, we're gonna meet Snape. Hassled. He's watching your battle from the sidelines, I must say was simply excellent, full marks, gold star, extra credit even. Okay, he's a little more excitable than Snape. I'll give him that. He's very excitable. This guy, he's into it. Artfully trained Pokemon. Such a vibrant palette of moves. I thought we already had an art guy. I guess there's just two art guys in this region. Imagine, two people in one country sharing a common interest. I'm eager for you to gather all the gym badges. As a member of the Elite Four, I await the day you come face to come to face me with great anticipation. Don't let your studies fall by the wayside. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be like taking classes or something, right? Still haven't done that. All right, good talk. All right, well, now that Duck is evolved, I can swap that out. What else do I want to evolve? 
What else is new that I care to evolve? I, I want to see some new new Pokemon. I never evolved the Bagel. Olive still needs to evolve. Uh, I am... I'm most curious about... Uh, about Primeape. So maybe I should... Maybe I should evolve Mankey. You know what? I'm gonna do that. What? Let me check my Mankey. Let me see that I have a not awful Mankey. Alright. Boosted attack. Lowered special defense. Vital spirit. Can't fall asleep. That's acceptable. It's a... It's a very naughty. That's fine. I will accept that Mankey. And I will evolve it. I, it needs to use some move. What does it need to use? It needs to use Rage Fist or something 20 times. Which I assume it, it, it like learns at some point after becoming Primate. But let me, let me double check. Yeah, I can't, I can't know it yet. Alright. Monte Nevera. It's not really a town here. It's just kind of a... It's just a gym. Up on a mountain. And that's it. That's all that's here. Excuse me. Any new interesting TMs? I somehow doubt it. Again, would be nice if I could just see, like, new ones. Sorted by the power category. Craft. No, I can't just see which ones are new. Which ones were not here before. God, there's so many of them. Avalanche. Snowscape I already had. Brick Break might be new. Fire Punch? The punches might be new. Mankey can learn all three punches. Keep that in mind for the future. Liquidation. It is physical. It's 85 power. May lower target's defense. Okay, so it's not a guaranteed lower defense. Ice Spinner is 80 power. It's interesting that they added a move that deals with terrain, because I thought... I, I just... I kind of just thought terrain wasn't something that people really used much. It seemed like a mechanic that was added in Gen 6 or 7, whenever it was added, and then pretty quickly, like, forgot about. Oh, there's Deli Bird around here. All right, off to Monte Nevera. I'm not going to worry about Deli Bird right now. I'll catch one eventually, TM. Oh, hello. Oh, it's Cry... 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 Me a river. Cryagonal. Cryagonal, whatever it's called. There's like that perfect angle that creates a problem for, uh, for Coridon. Where it's just slightly too steep to walk on, but not quite steep enough to climb on. Can I get on top? I can get on top of the Pokemon building. Come on, a little further. Oh, no! Oh, it was just short. Boy, this, uh, 
having all of the Coridon abilities really just removed any walking from the game. I don't have to go on new routes, I don't have to find trainers. Well, this is a lovely little Christmas town. There's actually, like, a, a city here. It's not, not just a gym up on the mountain with nothing else there. No wonder that gym leader's depressed. What's here? Uh, there's some kind of cafe, I think. It's a restaurant. Sushi High Roller. Uh, oh, there's like a, there's a fancy menu. Okay, it, it's still like functionally the same as every other restaurant. It just has like a purely text menu without pictures because it's, it's fancy and grown up, I guess. Or they just couldn't be bothered to make icons for sushi, maybe. All right, leech life. That's actually a good move now. All right. Well, I, I'm here, so I guess I should check out the ghost gym. Just fuck it, gyms back to back. I haven't been to the psychic town, but with my new Coridon, that uh, it should also be very quick to get there as well. Terrain was super good in sword. Okay, so that explains why they would uh, add a move that counters it. Not even a tenth of trainers make it to this point. I'm not surprised that you made it. I just knew there was a reason you caught my eye. Uh, thanks. I should be the one thanking you. Do you want to fight? Alright, I don't even have a chance. She just, she dragged me out of the gym by my collar. Battlefield can have these teeny effects on your Pokemon's balance and set- No, no it can't. Shut up, Nimona. Wait, can I, like, save first? No? Oh my god, they really- they went straight back to Generation 1 with a surprise rival battle that is completely unannounced and which you cannot save before. I've, I've heard the Nimona challenges are optional. I, do, I don't know how. Maybe there's just like no penalty for losing, or maybe I could have said no to the previous ones. Maybe the fact that I said yes to all the previous ones is why I didn't have a choice for this one. Maybe there's continuity in this game that I had not anticipated. Mankey gaining lots of XP. Do I want Swagger? Yeah, I'll take Swagger. I don't need Fury Swipes. Get out of here. <laughs> I wonder what type Annihilate is. I have no idea. Dark Fighting? Pawmite. What would be good against Fighting Electric? I got my Fairy. It's, it's Fighting. Well, I Fairy move. I don't want to send out a normal type, though. You know what? I'm good. I, I can stick to I can stick to Amy. It's not impossible I could re-add my Palma to the team, just because, again, it's a useful type combination, fighting electric. I don't have either of those currently. Okay, why is it... Did my Was my accuracy lowered and I forgot?
Maybe both of our accuracies are lowered. I, I dodged like two thunder waves. Mousehold wants to learn beat up. Is beat up still good? Gets all party Pokemon to attack the target. I did, see, I'm, I'm so used to, like, the broken version of Beat Up in, uh, in my randomizers. I don't know if, like, the regular version is any good or not. I, I guess it depends on whether you have physical attackers, and I don't know that... I don't have a team of, like, six physical attackers. Sligoo. She's sending out a dragon against my fairy type. I'm gonna swap out because I feel like I... I, I guess I could have, like, checked the Pokemon status to see if I had, uh, If I had lowered stats. Sligu is a very small second stage pseudo-legendary. I guess Pupitar is also pretty small. It's just the other ones tend to be, you know, pretty... Well, Bagon is not huge. Zwilus is not, like, too massive. It's just kind of Dragonair is the really big, big one. Yowskarata. Uh... I'm send in Brelum. That was a thing that a lot of, uh, Dynamax, Gigantamax Pokemon did. Or a lot of those moves had the effect of, uh, adding terrain. Oh, no! No, don't remove the Dark-type, I was counting on that! She's gonna Terrestrialize her Weed Cat. It's definitely a more subtle mechanic than, uh, than the previous several Pokemon game gimmicks. Z-moves, Megas, and, uh, Dynamaxing. I definitely feel like, like, the Terrasalizing, while being more whelming, has more potential depth. People, did people didn't seem to like Dynamaxing. I didn't like Dynamaxing. Megas and Z moves, I, I was more, I was more down for. Dynamaxing was kind of boring. Oh, you're gonna hit full force. Well, I'm gonna punch you a third time. How's that? But that's the move, it like, it like bonks the opponent on the head. That's flower trick. Alright, well I'm gonna punch you. Yeah, how about that? Cross chop. Is that Brelum? No, that's Mankey. 100 power move. At level 22. Man, the times have changed. <clears throat> I remember 100 power moves almost didn't exist. Oh no, there was always like... It was Fire Blast, Flamethrower. There were always powerful moves. That was an L for me. Shut up, Goku. Zoomer Goku. 
Oh, that's a that's a weird thought. Dragon Ball remake, but Goku talks like someone in the 2020s. Oh, I guess you do fight Nimona in whatever the uh, whatever the local gym arena is. Did she heal me? Okay, yeah, yes, I'm fully healed. I thought maybe, like, uh... I thought maybe she dragged me out of the gym, beat me up, and then set me back with my, my bruised and damaged Pokemon team. This, this engine is taking a whole other uh, long time to revolve. Reva of Room. Evolve starting at level 40. Okay. It, it's just... I, I'm getting there. It's just a late evolution. Oh, there's Dreepies. Just, just hanging out. Being ghost dragons. Warming up the audience for the main event. I'm the opening act. I see. Get on get on stage, show us some dead fierce Pokemon battles. Oh, okay, is that all? I can do that. Then I have to speak with MC Sledge in front of the stage outside. All right, MC. I hope you're more more entertaining than Iono was. Not gonna lie, she kind of cringe, fam. Oh, it's critical again. You the one performing the opening act today? My name's M. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. That's the gym leader? No, that's a tra that's just a trainer. We're gonna have you do some double. Oh, double battles do exist. Then you'll be so hot, it'll melt the Monte, Monte Nevera snow. I, I don't really have a critical voice. I'm sorry. <coughs> Alright, three times in a row, double battles. Yes, I'm, I'm good with the deets. Oh, I thought I'd have a chance to, like, rearrange my party. I guess not. <coughs> Ryan is the gym leader's name. What's up, Monteve Monte Nevera? I, mi I always miss the nen. The ne. I will be fighting young little later hosen student. Taz. Today I'm going to be fighting Tazbot. God help me. Oh, and I've got I've got I have Breloom in in second place. This isn't good. Oh, these are awful Pokemon to be fighting ghosts with. Sorry. Oh, close. I'm not going to be doing three doubles battles with those two against ghosts. I, I gotta rearrange. I, he said, like, the fight will start as soon as you get on stage, so I thought, like, it'd give me control and then I could do my thing and then I would walk on stage, but no, it, ju it just sends you there. All right, that was practice, for real this time.
Yep. MC critical, double battles. I've heard it before. How? Don't worry about it. It's just, it's an audience of three people, a snow run, and a bunch of graves. Are those the, are those the ghost dogs, or are they actually just human graves? Oh, so that's a, that's a neat Toro shirt. I want one. Alright, this time with an actual, like, pair of Pokémon equipped to take on ghosts. Oh, that hits everyone. Uh, do I want a Brutal Swing? Or should I just, maybe I'll just, like, hit hard. I don't think I need to, I don't think I need to, uh, Brutal Swing. It's okay, little Brock. Things will be alright. How long has it been since we had, like, people with slanted eyes in, uh, in a Pokemon game? <sighs> they've probably been around, but they've been scarce. If y'all are not aware, there was, uh, the, the, the Japanese Pokemon execs were worried after the anime happened that uh, that Westerners would think Brock was racist against Asian people, which is why we got Tracy sketch it. They were worried that people would react negatively to the uh, the closed eyes trope. This was based on no complaints. There were act no actual complaints came in, and then when everyone complained about Tracy, they uh, they brought Brock back. So uh, that was that story. Is there any problem that can't be solved with a giant hammer? Just inching very slowly closer. To Tyranitar. No, I don't need Thrash. Thrash is... I don't need a normal type move. There's really very little reason to have a normal type move. Unless it has some extra effect or... Uh, or at least get stabbed from it. In most cases. The audience is getting really excited. Yeah, there, there's like alive people in it now. The opening acts turn the cheering and the stage lighting up to 11. What a surprise! Who's have thought they'd sledge it up this much? Is that just is that a thing people say, or are they just are they making that up? The term sledge. Oh, it's it's serious critical. That was a scary face. I like how his hair, like, goes through his, his arm. His arm is a ghost type. Alright, uh... It's Stone Edge or I could Crunch. It's Stone Edge. Well, no, Crunch is more reliable. And Big Hammer. What? Well, never mind, I can ferry on, uh, on Sableye, because it's Dark type. Probably would have gone down either way, but... 
Oh, come on, really? That's how you're gonna go out? Self-destruct? Well, good job, idiot. You feel like a winner? What was he thinking? I like the motif. Although I guess the uh, the the painted glass isn't isn't new. Like that was Fantina's thing. Her gym was kind of like a like a chapel. All right, pass the gym test. We're all ready for Rhymes concert. Does he tour? Rhyme? Or does he just have concerts in this town over and over and over again? You'd, you'd think the townspeople would get bored of the same one performer. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a she. This crowd's so loud it could wake the dead. Let me tell you what I want to hear. Y'all feeling good? It's it's like it's an old lady rapper. Okay. I see why I see why people like this character. I kind of want to picture her like Sugar Mama from the Proud Family. That was a cool old lady character. I liked her. All right, well, uh, let me go ahead and heal up. It's a shame it hasn't evolved yet. If it was, uh, if Tyranitar was dark type, I would have A stab and B a uh, a defensive advantage. Uh oh. Watch this. Wait for it. They they thought of that. If you get stuck in a place that uh, you you can't move, you can't input, the game will reset you after a few seconds. And most games just don't have places that you can get stuck like that in them, but, uh... At least they thought of something for it. <coughs> Alright, I'm getting to a level where I could, uh... I could bring in Cyclozar. Although it doesn't evolve or anything, so I could also just, I could bring it into the team off-stream. We are very close to getting the engine to evolve, though. It's gonna evolve after this gym battle. <clears throat> Is she gonna be rapping while we're fighting? That would be pretty impressive. Sounds like there might be a rap battle going on over at the stage. Okay. Is this like a Tamadachi life rap battle? <coughs> Who's this schmuck? It, 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 what if he beats the gym leader? What if this is the greatest rapper in Paldia? This is my time. This is my day. You're not going to stand in my way. Listen up, Rhyme, your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cashier. Just imagine the instruments playing. We don't need a sound effect. We'll just spell it out in text. Pro cashier, well, I'm about to check out. Must have got your rhymes on deep discount. D dot com? Please, you think you can step to my game? Fool, I got rhyme right there in my name. I'm a specter from which, which there is no protector, and victory unto me you will render when the... 
Victory unto me you will render, when the crowd sees you're a mere pretender. I, I would attempt this if there was, like, a real backbeat or something. I, I don't think this track is enough. <sighs> I'm done, you won. My rhyme's totally whiffed, but I'll be back, maybe after my next shift. Uh, hey, that wasn't bad, he got a parting shot. Look, she's stunned. Oh no, she's she's mad that uh, she's mad that it was. Uh, I, I didn't think it was bad. Gets boring wearing the crown if no one makes me fight to keep it. But he he, he did what he did well. I mean, well, for a Nintendo rap, I guess. No, I'm here for a rap battle. Alright. I rap what's in my soul, baby. Weaving words into a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me. You won't last one round. I'm like Sableye. My mean look will knock you down. Lock you down. Uh, sure. Yeah, I, yes, I feel you. I'm, I'm way too white for this. The MC of Rip, dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. Oh, it is a double battle, all right. Does she have, like, a particular tactic to this double battle, I wonder? Alright. Fairy Ghost. So Dark will not be super effective. Do I have anything good against Fairy Ghost? Oh, I got Steel. Well, rest in... Well, no. Uh-oh. <coughs> I forgot Mimikyu's ability. Oh, I fucked that up. I should have used Fake Out to break its it break its costume. Man, I I, st I doubt, doubt I'm gonna lose still, but that was such an easy thing I could have taken care of. And now I can't use my hammer twice, so I blew my super effective move. Man. Also, Crunch didn't even one shot Bayonet. Why did my attack rose rise? What? Is that just is that just something that happens on this stage? We just get stat boosts? Well, yeah, I can't use Gigaton Hammer again. Uh Yeah. You know what? I'll give everyone the brutal swing, and I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll go with full force on Mimikyu. <coughs> They're just gonna keep both using Shadow Sneak. I'm still mad at mad at myself. Man, I could have faked out. I, I had that in the bag. It would have been so easy. That's not a go oh, it's not a ghost type, but uh, it's gonna terrorist terrorist wise. One of Rhyme's Pokemon went down. Two of them went down. Y'all gotta pay attention. Yeah, I guess, uh... I guess we just get attack boosts every turn. Okay. I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. So Tox, uh, Tox is clearly going to terrestrialize.
Uh, do I want a brutal swing? Yeah, I'll brutal swing. Junior can take it. Time for a grave rattle in good time. Yeah, they were all dogs. I would like it better if they were. it was actually just a graveyard. If there were just people buried here and we were dancing on top of them. I guess we're still technically dancing on top of dog graves. Oh, I, I remember that. The, uh, the ghost terror type is based on the Gen 1 sprite. I like that. You use dis- oh, it hits everybody. Okay. Oh, really? Man. It- it dodged my crunch. Why is- why does- Huh? Why are they getting- oh, I don't understand what's happening. Why are they getting a bunch of stat boosts? Do, do, do we get, like, stat boosts based on who did better on a turn? Is it, like, trying to simulate a rap battle thing? Alright, well, Houndstone will come back. In the meantime, I'll, uh, here, I'll, I'll just, I'll hammer with the Toxic. It'll go down with a big enough hammer. Ain't nothing a big hammer can't solve. Put your soul into it. I get it. Cause, cause ghost type. Ooh. Okay. There's one down. I still got my hammer. Ain't nothing that can't be solved with a big hammer. I've, I've turned around on Tinkaton. Tinkaton is so fucking useful. Assurance. Who's learning Assurance, Mankey? Uh, do I want that? Yeah, I'll get rid of Covet. I don't need a normal type move. Phantom Force. Alright. Out goes the mouse and the mushroom. Mushroom. Mushroom's there for, su for moral support. She's got status moves. I can still put the ghost to sleep or something. It's a vibe now. Did, do people say that at rap concerts? I don't feel like that's something people would say at rap concerts. Alright, I will play rough with the dog. And I will put... I will put the dog to sleep. Come on, spore. Why, why is... I'm gonna have to look this up later. I am so curious how this how this gym is supposed to be functioning. At no point during this battle did I understand why the random stat boosts were happening. I just kind of had to, had to roll with it. Go with the funky fresh flow, as it were. I think maybe my rap terminology is a little outdated. I don't think she would appreciate me saying Funky Fresh. There we go. Alright. We're finally getting a car. It's so tiny. 
Revavroom. Multi-cylinder Pokemon. Creates a gas out of poison and minerals from rocks. It then detonates the gas in its cylinders, now numbering eight, to generate energy. Shift gear. I think that's a move that existed before. It was the, the gear Pokemon had it, appropriately. Rotates gears, boosting attack and sharply boosting speed. Oh, that's also just like a better Dragon Dance. So does it like transform or anything? Reva Vroom. Reva Vroom. Whatever. I don't know how to say it. Great battle. Chilling and thrilling. You've got spirit, kid. Revavroom has five different Starmobile forms, only seen in battles against the Team Star... Okay. So that's it, then. I thought maybe it would have a move that would turn it into, like, its own big car. Maybe not the, like, specialized cars with the decals and everything that Team Star has, but... You know, a bigger version of the car. Yep, scary good adventures, ghost puns, raps. Interesting character, I just can't do her justice. Especially not after four and a half hours. Oh, hello, it's you again. Rika here. There's, there's a doll with you? You two have- no, we haven't. What What are you doing with, like, a gender-bent astro boy? Yep. This young lady is Liz. Even La Primera is taking an interest in her. I think the Pokemon on Team Poppy are really strong. Why? why? There's, like, there's, it's a baby. It's a kindergartner. Is this one of the Elite Four? It's, it's one, there's a baby on the Elite Four. But why, though? Is she just, like, a dwarf? Is she putting on, like, a character? It's the pinnacle of Pokemon. Yeah, we gotta go to the, 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 the Pokemon League. So we've met... Three of the four Elite Four, I believe. Rika gives me a vibe similar to Sailor Uranus. She was like the 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 very androgynous, rather masculine, way too cool for school, older Sailor Scout. Who was uh, cousins. Cousins with another female Sailor Scout. Definitely not lovers, cousins. Totally different. Well, that's that, I guess. Uh, since I have basically free transportation, or free access to the entire world now, I guess I could go to the, I could go to the Psychic Town and, like, stop there. I'd save the gym for next time, I think. What else is there? There's two more... There's two more, uh, Team Star bases. What's the map look like? There's the fairy base up there. And the Psychic is way down here. Or up there. Is that like on top of a mountain, maybe? Since I'm in the area, let me see if I can get... Uh... 
Let me get some some uh, some fly locations at the very least. Shadow Ball's a nice TM to have. I don't know if I have anybody who uh, who needs it. My Fire Crocodile had it, but it uh, it learned it just on its own. There's like uh, there's a river here. No fly. Jump good. It's just a Pokemon Center out in the middle of nowhere on the mountain. These poor nurses. I guess every I guess anyone who's been here can taxi here, so it's not like they have like an especially bad commute or anything, but they also seem to be here 24-7. It's the fourth Elite Four member that will make you think. Okay. Like more than the more than the baby makes me think, makes me question things. Alright, well that's one more uh, that's one more location. Oh. Okay, so if you're, like, within the vicinity... Did I have to unlock this as a travel location before it would show that one on my map? It's an odd system. I guess it doesn't want to, uh... It doesn't want to populate your map with all of the Pokémon centers immediately. Alright. Big jump. Oh, it's right down there. That's not far. I would be pretty far if I were walking, but, uh, pfft, walking. Walking's for chumps. And... Oh. <laughs> I wanted to drop off of Coridon at that height. It, it doesn't let me do that. I don't need to heal, I just need to unlock the... Oh, I guess we'll just end this stream by unlocking a bunch of locations. And then the base is... Well, it's right there, so... But a stone's throw away. Where are you? Oh, it's a Flamigo. <laughs> so next time we will have the option of doing the fairy base or else the... Uh, or else the Psychic Gym. What a bizarre... Okay, so it's not that... The strangest thing to me about the Starmobile thing isn't that uh, they have their own forms. I kind of expected that to be, like, an ability it had to transform into different types. But no, it's just their own completely custom versions of the Pokémon. And the strangest thing is that they all lose the Steel type. Like, it's pure fire, pure dark. When you're fighting the Starmobile version. that That's the strange part of it to me. Set as destination. Let me just, uh, let me climb a mountain real quick to end the stream. That's what we'll do. I'm going to climb the mountain, because it's there. Oh, there's Arcanines over here! Hello! There's a Marill. I haven't been to this side of the river. I'm back in area one. With the Breaking Bad music again. I guess, uh... 
I guess we're just expected to... Do we have to have the, the climb to get here? What other option is there? No, I guess we could have come up this mountain path from Area 1. Wait, no we couldn't have. We would have come to this, this sheer rock wall. Is there no way up here without... Coridon's climb? I guess if anyone needed to get here, they could just take the flying taxi, but, uh... That begs the question, why are we limited to only going to places we've been before? Like, well, why could we not have just started the game going, Hey, take me to this place. You're a taxi cab. You're supposed to go where I tell you to go. The weird systems in the Pokemon games. Well, here we are. It's a lovely area. It kind of reminds me of the uh, the mountaintop electric place in uh, Sun Moon. I'm sorry. Is that like is that bead art? It, it's pixel art of like Gen One, Gen Two Pokemon sprites. How many trainers do you want me to fight? Only seven. Okay. The mountain guy is the most demanding. He wants ten trainers. On a, on a snowy mountain top. What a thing to expect. Alright. Well, maybe I'll evolve some of the party... One, some of the Pokemon who... Uh, who we know the evolutions for. Because we've seen... Almost everything in the game by now. We haven't seen everything. I still don't know what the pseudo-legendaries for this generation are. Those will be new to me when we get to them. So there's still... Somehow, after all this time, there is still stuff that I have not yet seen. But uh, we'll get to that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the stream for now. It was another uh, pretty meaty Pokemon stream. Got five hours done. Uh, we, we did a Team Starbase. We did a Final Titan and two gyms. It's four things done. It's not bad. Uh, depending on how Jack feels, I may do this again tomorrow, and we could, we could finish it tomorrow, depending on how things go. Thank you for watching today, and I will see you for the next stream.